Woo. Hi. Abib underscore Abib underscore. A boba a boba.
Z0x flower yo. Welcome to the stream! Didn't see you there! How you doing? I hope you're doing good, cause I am! Welcome! Is my lighting fucked? Oh dude, that light is like yellow now, cause it's dying. The light there died, but there's like a sp- I I'm gonna have to clean it, cause it's like spider webs. And then that one's like yellow. So my lighting's kinda fucked. I could- Dude, I didn't sleep. I woke, I, I like laid in bed, couldn't sleep. Well, left my bed at like four. 
I was thinking of making a Hyper Bloom video in bed. I was like literally thinking about Hyper Bloom while I was in bed. I'm not even joking. And then I uh, I got up, showered. And now I'm here. So welcome. Dude, it looks so dark. What the fuck? There's like a shadow on me. Yeah, my lighting's fucked. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, maybe it's because I'm looking at this monitor. No, it is fucked. Maybe you should think about the loot guide? Dude, what if the loot guide comes out on April Fools? No one would believe that it came out. Even if I told you, no one would believe it. Can you imagine? Um, dude, this headset is like, it's like a comfy headset, but it's uncomfy because I have too much hair. Anyways, welcome to the stream. Uh, today is going to be a day, okay? For legal reasons, I have been informed by my lawyer not to comment on whether the live stream is good or bad, but the live stream will certainly be a live stream, okay? That's all we can say for legal reasons. Uh, we're excited, you know, or not, or not, or not. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Um, hopefully, there's more than one new character. Realistically, it's just Chiori. And then they're like buttering us up for next patch where they shove Arlequino and fucking Chlorind in us. And then we're going to be like, oh, thank you, father. But for now, I mean, we'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, please shave, dude, shut the fuck up! Sorry. Sorry. Dude, it... I'm gonna have a, a, a silver wolf moment. I like the bad thanks for 14 months. Guava milk tea, that's the nine. Young Hope, thanks for two. Has, thanks for the, the five. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream chat. We have a lot to do today. Hello, Dratoot. Are you are, are you still are you do you ever get like do you ever stop to think that the website that you you one of the websites you use the most uh, 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 fired all of the staff members for no reason? Do you ever take that for granted? Well, not for what's the opposite of for granted? Anyways, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I certainly am not because I play Genshin. <laughs> what is this? VRT donated $6.32. Xiao is tall. Haters gonna hate. I am not looking at... Dude, what the fuck did you link me? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's what happens when, uh, I yeah, of you and posted it on Oak Z0 X. dog shit out. It, Anyways, if anyone of the five workers left at X is watching, please recover my man's account. Thank you. Uh, anyways, welcome to the stream. Um, we have a lot to do. A lot to talk about. Even Hyperbloom to talk about. <laughs> stun lock? It's not stun lock this time. It's not stun lock. It's actually not stun lock this time. I was I was thinking about Hyperbloom for a while now. I was like, should I make a video talk about it? And I kind of left that in my idea bank. And yesterday I saw this video from Genshin Scientist. I actually like Genshin Scientist. Good content overall. Uh, you know, go watch it, banger. Uh, and I, I was looking at other Hyperbloom, I saw this one too. Uh, and I read the comments and the comments tilted me. Video's not bad though, video's good. Uh, but the comments here kind of tilted me. Uh, where is this? Dude, 
We, chat, I have to make it my lifelong mission. If you guys remember me for one thing, I want it to be, I want it to be that Kooky is not needed for Hyperbloom. I want that to be my, my legacy. So we're going to be playing Sucrose Hyperbloom today uh, for user Planetary Rendezvous. Because this is a common uh, misconception. A lot of people think this when it's not true. Uh, and we will be using the best Electro character in the game. Official. Anyways, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, this video, I was thinking of watching on stream, but it's a good video. The only thing is, this isn't like, so shout out, I'll, I'll actually link it in chat if you guys want to watch it, because, you know. Uh, the only thing is, I feel inspired to myself talk about Hyperbloom, kind of separate points. So I might make a video on it at some point. I'm going to wait before uploading it, because I don't take any traffic from this video. Like, I want this to do well as well, because I like the content creator. But yeah, so we'll see. I might talk about it. Anyways, uh, welcome to the stream. We might watch it. Um, <laughs> dude, I love it. I love it. She's not the best question mark. No, no, she's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. No, no, she's not. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's not. No, no, don't worry. Who's your favorite? Raiden? It's Raiden. Raiden's the best. <laughs> Welcome to the stream! What the fuck am I listening to? Dude, do I really have the same five songs every stream? Uh, I need to make... Maybe I need to make a new playlist. What is this playlist? I don't want to listen to this. I also don't want to listen to this. <laughs> Dude, I have no playlists. They're all the same. Whatever. Um. Whatever, I'll just play this. Okay. Welcome. We have a lot to do. Uh, also... Apparently the abyss really reset. I, I opened my Genshin. It was fucking. It says floor eight three, so we might have to do that as well. Um, and you know, maybe we'll get to show off some some hyper bloom. You know, maybe we'll get to maybe we'll get to you know without Kooky. Maybe we'll get to show off uh, you know, Sucrose Fischl. Playlist Anyways. last updated December fifteenth, twenty eleven. I'm going to talk about Hyperbloomers to play with DMC Cole. Okay, I don't care if the op like any math or like simulator tells you that Cole DMC Hyperbloom is the best free to play team. If you're running Cole over a good character, you are actually griefing your life. I'm actually sorry. I know you can do like Barbara Cole DMC, but you're griefing. Get Syncho. Oh, Syncho's not free to play. He's in the fucking monthly shop. So if you play the game for more than three months, you can get him. True. Or four months? Five? I don't know. But you can get him. Anyways. Anyways. Cole is great in Elo teams? Yeah, absolutely. She can also be used in 15 second rotation teams. Not bad with like Kaching. But guess what? We're not talking about that. We're talking about Hyperbloom. And if you use Cole and Hyperbloom, it can work. What about well, okay, I think it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's actually good if you're playing like Barbara, but I don't understand why people make it. Okay, this is going to tilt me also. This is another thing that tells me. Again, not about, I, I, we should watch that video on stream. I don't think, it's not about that video. It's about like random commenters. People that use, like I see people talk, this is like the other video that's unlocked me, not this one. This one's good. Uh, the like people that assume your free to play Hyperbloom team is like fucking uh, sorry is like Barbara DMC. So uh, where the fuck is DMC? Barbara DMC, Cole, and like some random garbage, dude. If you if you dude, Lisa, true. Was Lisa? Dude, like if you're coping this hard, you have bigger problems than the reaction. 
I'm sorry. Like, I'm actually sorry. You have bigger problems of your, on your Genshin account that you need to solve. And it's not like, oh, swipe. It's literally like, learn to build a team. I'm sorry. So, like, I... Because I'm going to say it, there's two options. Either you play the game for a little bit, and then you get a lot of the four stars passively through not only free through events, but also monthly shop or pulling on any banner, or you don't play for a long time. Well, then there's two options. Either you're new, and then you're going to probably pull on whatever banner is there, in which case you can either build a team around a five star or add that five star to your team, or do what you can with the characters you have. Shangling's free. You make a Shangling team. Funny thing is, you can clear this? Oh, absolutely. Well, um, uh, yes. Okay, yes, you can. However, I wouldn't use Lisa here, but like, yes, you can clear with like anything with Hyperbloom, provided you have EM. But the thing is, it's like, if your argument is like, this isn't a free-to-play team, then it's like, bro, like, these are 1.0 characters that are in the monthly shop. Well, Sucrose isn't, but, you know. Like, you don't need... You might have Kuki, but you don't need Kuki. If you do have Kuki, use her. If you don't... Um, who was I going to put? DMC. All right. And let's say you're like, man... 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 Honestly, if you don't have Sucrose, you could probably do, like... You could even do Lisa. Like, the reason I was kind of memeing on Lisa wasn't because Lisa's that bad. It's literally because if you're playing, like, pick a struggle. Like, you can have a bad Electro and do have a good Hyper Bloom team. You can have a bad Hydro and have a good Hyper Bloom team. You can have a bad Dendro and have a good Hyper Bloom team. But if all your slots are bad, that's that's more than, like, the rea Oh, the reaction doesn't carry me. It's, like... Pick a dude, like at certain point, you don't have Synchro, you don't have Kuki or Fischl or Sucrose or like any Dendro character. It's like, bro, like, what are you doing? Like, if your account isn't made to Hyperbloom and you, you're more geared towards other teams, Hyperbloom might still be better. But uh, sure, go for those other teams. But like, it's fine. But what's nice also is, um, Shangling has some pretty good teams that don't even need Synchro. So you could do like, uh, 16, 18. Where the fuck is, well, whatever. You get the point. I don't know where Rosaria is. Can we switch to JP voice just for the spiral abyss? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to mention like the damage just of the reaction. Cause I, I understand, like I fundamentally understand that literally just hyper blooming is enough to meet the nine star floor twelve clear. Our son is finally born. Like, uh, the, the, like, when the time, like, I understand that, right? But it's also like, if you're playing Barbara, Cole, Lisa, like, what are you doing? Like, it's still going to clear, but like, why is that the team that you build? Like, do you have zero four stars? Maybe, like, maybe you're doing like a, I'm playing only free to play characters. Sure. But outside of that, why would you like, why would you do that? Is 30k DPS on a good condition. It's barely enough. Okay, but that argument doesn't make sense. Because barely enough... It, okay, barely enough when you're playing essentially like characters without limbs is like really good. Like barely enough when you're playing dog shit unit. I'm sorry, Kole players, but dog shit unit outside of Nilu Bloom. And almost dog shit unit with Lisa. And you're nine starring floor 12. You know. That's like good, but like it's the team is bad. Like the team is bad, but if you, but yeah, I don't know how to explain it any more than that without like thinking about it more. Like, okay, Kole's not bad, but like genuinely, like I don't think there's another Dendro character in the same tier as her. Like, almost like, okay, objectively, okay, Cavi, never mind, Cavi's worse. Well, yeah, Cavi's worse, but. Yeah. Like, she's not, like, bad. It's just there's better Dendro characters. Almost always. For Hyperbloom. If you're, again, if you're a Nilu player and you like Kole, that's cool. We're not talking to you right now. 
That's cool. That's cool. What do you mean cave is bad? Don't talk to me right now. I'm not trying to... This isn't my opinion right now. I'm not talking as an opinionator right now. Okay? I, I, lo I love cave. No disrespect. I'm just saying. Actually, okay, to be fair to cave, I would rather play this. Like, I would much rather play, like, this Hyperloom team. But you're running premium, premium. Like, he takes time on field. Like, if you're doing Barbara, Barbara's not going to really hydro from off-field much. Like, her ring is, like, pretty... Like, it's okay. It's not great. Then your Electro is going to be, like, you need you need either some Electro, right? You want something. Like, Lisa wouldn't really... Yeah, anyways. 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 Sunlock. But I'm also like, my point isn't even that the, the like, I'm, I don't even care if this team is good enough. My, like the Barbara team is good enough. My point is usually you can do better. Like I have genuinely, I, I, I maybe I've seen one account in my like hundreds of accounts that I've looked through where I would actively re like recommend that team. It's like, dude, 99% of the time you have something better. And if you don't, you're going to get something better in like one patch of playing the game. So at that point, like, why would you turbo invest in these characters? Well, I guess they can placehold your artifacts, but still like, yeah. On field Kokomi is not bad. No, on field Kokomi is pretty good for um, pretty much any team that needs an on fielder. Like a hydron fielder. She's good. Sometimes it'll like if you don't need the healing, you you'd rather use like a damage dealer, but it's fine. What's the song? Beautiful. We balls. Uh, for the record, I'm not stunlocked. I chose to talk about it. This isn't like I I had to. Like I chose to talk about it. This is like I feel like talking about Hyperloom. I felt like it. Fuck it. <laughs> but also yeah yeah oh another thing is uh this so we can watch this video together but the thing is if i if i watch this video while i'm stunlocked people will think i don't like the video but i actually like the video it's like separate like i'm ranting about other shit but anyways the the only thing i don't agree with in ter um the only like meta take that is like true that i don't agree with despite it being true is the like the the the, the like spam argument of like high seal high floor low ceiling where it, like it's true hyperbloom automatically brings you to a pretty high like decently high floor and then the ceiling is like lower than like a meta even like shao right now like shao shan yun farina like it's gonna clear way faster than my random ass hyperbloom team that's true but does that matter and then the answer is, well, it depends what you're playing for. But if you're looking up guides and you're trying to clear Abyss, right? like that's like what you're trying to do, the odds are you'll be able to do that with something like Hyperloom before you can do it with your like certain carries that are a lot better than Hyperloom eventually, right? But then it's like, does that matter? Like I, in an ideal world, yes, you want to do as much as you can. But the reality is all you need is nine stars. And after that, there's no more content. So it's like... The floor is like, the floor being high is like really, really big. It's like such a big deal that it doesn't really matter for people that are looking to just clear the abyss or like have the strongest teams that they can for now. If a, a hyper invested team of a hyper carry will do be better than their like just EM main stat team, right? So that that's basically the thing. It's not that the ceiling doesn't matter. The ceiling does matter, but it's like, in my opinion, a lot less relevant. It's it's more for fun. Like, I care about the ceiling. I've been farming crit for like over three years now, right? So like, I care. But like, if you're looking up like what's good and you care about, okay, well, how, well, not look, 
how do I say this? If you're trying to clear the abyss, the team that's going to be recommended to you isn't the hype, the hyper invested team. It's the oh well, this team has hydro, electro, dendro. It's always going to be pretty good, and it's very easy to build, and it's very flexible. You can close your eyes, spam buttons, and your rotation is going to be good, right? Okay, and because it gets spam recommended, people think it's the, automatically the best team. Okay. But the reality is, while that's not necessarily true, it's still going to be spam recommended because the people that need recommendations are people that can't clear the abyss. If you're asking me, hey, man, I cleared the abyss in 30 seconds, but I want your opinion on who's better, Shao or Hytham. Like, I'll answer you. I'll tell you. But actually, I don't want to open that can of worms right now. I'm lying to you. But, you know, generally, I'll Hytham. Although... We'll not get into it. But, you know, let's say you're asking that, then we can talk about that. But if you're asking me, hey, man, I can't clear floor 12. I I'm two-starring it. I'm one-starring it. What's a team that I can build without needing to spend five years of my life farming domains? I'll probably say Hyperbloom and Shangling or something like that, right? And, like, that's kind of the point. That's kind of the point. And uh, Zajef pointed me out the, the, the team simulation of a Hyperbloom team that's random. I think I bookmarked it. I did bookmark it. <laughs> Wait, where is it? This is the rotation of this simulated team, okay? Let A equal random. If A is one, write in, write in skill attack if two yalan skill burst attack if three sing cho skill burst attack if four nahida skill burst attack and then in between you just randomly swap like this is like a rotation of randomly swapping and it still did fine but anyways <laughs> it's it's literally like yeah Anyways. Link? I, I can link it. I, I don't know how... Like, I don't know who made this, but I can link it. I am sorry to ask, but it's a genuine question. What's the best Shang Ling team? Shangling, Bennett, Hydro, I'm going to say Child Kazua generally, I'm going to say that generally, but there's a, there's a lot of good Shangling teams. Why is Aika so low? Oh, this isn't like an actual list. All right, fucking call me stun locked. I don't care. We're watching this. Guys, there is no. But okay, let me preface this by saying I like this content creator. He makes banger content, so go check him out. This should be an anti stun lock because I assume we're going to agree on a lot of things. Denying that in the past year and a half, Hyperbloom has been kind of a guaranteed recipe. I'll also link it in chat. Game. All you need for it to function is a solid dendro player. I think I already linked it, but I'll link it again. Hydro application and an electro character built with elemental mastery that True. can trigger the Hyperbloom. Although. You don't need Kugi. That can trigger the Hyperblooms consistently. But Volume's still low. Day, just for fun, I went to my Discord server and typed Hyperbloom in the search bar and got this as a result. Hyperbloom is shit. Hyperbloom is bad. If this team is so good, why there are such Oh yeah, I've also seen the like... Enable CC? Sure. I've also seen the like takes of... I don't know what to call these like these type of takes but like the people that are like super end game and tcing they're super end game speed running and they're like yeah hyper bloom is shit because i clear in 20 seconds and my hyper bloom team clears in 40 or it's like well you still have to farm em we're not gonna get into it negative opinions about it sure a possible explanation could be that my discord server is just dumb but uh <laughs> 
<laughs> I think the actual reason is more complex than that. Truthfully, the conversation is quite split on the matter because uh, you have people that say this. I'm just standing here and everything's dying with Hyperbloom. And you will have others that say this instead. Hyperbloom itself does not do anywhere near enough damage to solo carry your chances <laughs> being good. So, what's Dude, how do you even say that sentence out loud? Let's find out. Oh, okay. The main reason people like Hyperbloom is that it's probably the most sure-proof way to achieve damage in Genshin. I was listening to my friend's Butterfur video on the matter the other day, and at one point he goes like this. Hyperbloom is simply a good source of sub-DPS that you can incorporate into teams consisting of already good, synergistic units that do damage. Sorry buddy, I think that's understating it. While it's technically true that Hyperbloom Based? is a source of sub-DPS that can come from off-field, and in this way it's similar to what characters like Fischl can do with odds, in my opinion, framing it as such is kind of underestimating the magnitude of this elemental reaction. Yes. For example, let's take a composition where the Hyperbloom's damage is on the high end, so a double hydro comp with uh, Shincho and Yelan, Nahida as the Dendro player, and <coughs> Kuki as the Electro player. On a team like this, since you get a lot of hydro application, even with pretty bad execution, you will still be able to get at least 20 Hyperbloom's per rotation. That's another thing. Like, I talked about this earlier, but like, you literally can close your eyes, mash your mouse buttons and your keyboard, and you will clear. Like, I get it. Oh, you're using good characters, but like, literally, it is so brain dead. Assuming you're giving your cookie an elemental mastery sword like Iron Sting, and the Paradise Lost as the artifact set with elemental mastery main pieces, in this scenario, you're crossing 700,000 damage per rotation with cookie pretty easily. To contextualize how big this is, let's say that you use the same double hydro core on the team, but uh, with Hu Tao and Jung Li replacing cookie and Nahida. Wait, how much damage is that? I kind of spaced out. 700k cookie easily to contextualize how big this is let's say that you use the same double hydro core as the team want. but uh, with hu tao and jung Lee replacing cookie and nahida of course hu tao is acting as the main dps here and i remind you all that this is still one of the most popular teams she has in order for hu tao oh, to match the damage cookie is dealing on her own composition she will need pretty nice talent level investment quite great artifacts and a pretty good four star weapon option no but no, but 200 crit value, level 10 talent, battle pass, that's all easier than EM main stat, right? No, no, it has to be. It's so much easier. And keep in mind that in terms of theoretical single target damage, Huto is still one of the best DPS we have in the game. While there are yeah, certainly good. more differences between the two teams, aside from the damage just Huto and Kuki are dealing, the point I'm trying to make here is that at its peak, Hyperbloom's output is comparable to that of a main DPS. And sure, Huto's total damage can get a lot higher on teams that are more focused on magnifying her output, but yeah, but oh, is he gonna say what I was about to say? Considering that Hyperbloom is doing this on a team that also slots in seriously strong sub DPS, it has nothing to envy compared to most main DPS sources. And this is truly what made Hyperbloom so popular within the community, reaching levels of damage that other characters can only achieve by breaking through more expensive layers yeah. of Yeah, okay, that's literally what I was gonna say. Because you can do the same on Hyperbloom. You can add Al on there, and then suddenly, oh shit, I have a real damage dealing character that's not Barbara Cole. Investment. Something people often underestimate about Hyperbloom is that you don't actually need this much hydro up. Okay, he's literally gonna say what I was gonna say. A nice level of damage. In fact, if you play both Shinchon and Yan on a team, you will often have too much hydro application. What I mean by this is that if you generate more than two hyperblooms in a single instance, yep. only two of them will do damage, yeah. damage it's sad. to the opponent, and that's because of the internal cooldown of the elemental reaction. On a team that uses both Shincho and Yelan, this happens a lot. So generating more It also than happens two a lot when you fucking, like your Kugi uptime dies, and then you like do your rotation, then you swap to Kugi, and there's like 80 cores on the ground in a single shot. And then this you're like, fuck, I even suck. if you remove one of them from the team, you won't stray away from that ceiling of Hyperbloom damage that much. And this allowed less conventional teams like a Double Hydro with Kokomi or Bridge teams to flourish. Of course, sure. if you remove one of Shincho and Yenan, you're losing on some raw damage, but you're replacing it with more utility, so some people like it. The ease of use is also pretty impressive, specifically the lack of restrictions in terms of rotation. And I'm not Dude, even saying Dude, it, it's so brain dead. You literally can't play it wrong compared to their teams makes like you better, actually I... can't oh fuck i use kooky before my hydro oh wow
Just okay. That it realistically makes it more flexible. No, I marked Aside with Nahira. Basic setup in terms of ability activation, there is not really that much here that is set in stone about rotation. This makes it much easier for it to adapt to bullshit enemy movements and patterns than it is for most teams. The combination of high base damage and flexibility made Hyperbloom a beacon of hope for many players. The sentence just use Hyperbloom is not a meme. You can just slap Hyperbloom on too many teams and it will make them decent at the very least, like uh, not super great, but at the very least decent and able to clear the base. And yet, some people dislike Hyperbloom. I'll be- Dude! Yeah, I, I I remember you, motherfucker. I roasted your hyperbloom clear because you kooky bursted the fucking electro bird. Yeah, it's immune. Sorry. But see, that's a perfect example. If the average Genshin player has the same... Br <laughs> I'm sorry, no disrespect. Has the same level of intellect as you, you can still clear with hyperbloom. But maybe playing like Hu Tao or Shao might not be your level. And that's okay. That's okay. That's the strength of the team. That's cool. If, if you just want to close your eyes and mash buttons, I do that. Then a hyperbloom's for you. <laughs> that was kind of fucked. I'm sorry. But true though. To be completely honest now, I don't typically use Hyperbloom teams. The reason is that there is sort of a limit to the damage Hyperbloom teams can deal. On teams that are fully focused on Hyperbloom damage, you typically have a Dendra player that is not dealing much damage himself due to the lack of quick and consistency, Hydra players that are filling a nice sub DPS role but that are clearly not receiving any kind of particular help from teammates in terms of support, yeah. and an Electro character that is built with elemental mastery pieces to maximize the Hyperbloom damage. On True. However, what if you do something like, hmm, Alhytham, maybe Farina, maybe, maybe, I kind of want to say Sucrose Fischl, but I don't know if that's just me coping because I like Sucrose, so or I'm not going to, I'm sure Yolan's a better character than, any kind of but. particular help from teammates in terms of support, and an Electro character that is built with elemental mastery pieces to maximize the Hyperbloom damage. On this type of team, in terms of artifact investment, it gets really hard to noticeably improve its performance yeah, that's fair. if you've already found a correct set for your Electro that's character. Fair. For one, once you've reached a certain level of elemental mastery on your character, it gets quite hard to get more. And this is like, like, this is what I'm going to say here. If I'm a kooky main and I love kooky like I love Shao, yeah, I'm going to want to be the best fucking, I want to be the number one Shao. I'm going to want to fucking one shot everything. And going from good Hyperbloom to better is like almost, not nothing, but like, it's not as noticeable. However, most people that are playing the Hyperbloom team aren't like, I fucking love Kuki. Yes, Sing Cho. Yes, I love you. Usually it's just like, wow, I can clear this with my brain off and I only have to farm for a month. And now I can spend all my resin maxing the character I like. Which is cool. Imagine if I got a thousand EM on Shao and then I didn't have to go Vermillion. But this is still a very valid, um, like a very valid point mastery on your character, it gets quite hard to get more. And anyway, the way the formula works, the more elemental mastery you get, the smaller the relative increase you get in terms of damage. Weapons wise, you can pick anything, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't have elemental mastery, it's not going to positively impact its damage. For get the rest of the damage on the team, so the raw damage the Endro and Hydro characters are dealing, you can of course increase that through artifact investment and so on much more. But since each of them is typically dealing a minuscule part of the team, damage it's not going to matter that much wait course, what but the, the last video we watched said it was just a little bit of sub dps and that yalan would be carrying but how is it 56 percent here if yalan the five star unit who's also pretty high in sorry i'll shut up um being a minuscule part of the team damage it's not going to matter that much of course there are a few exceptions to this like the quick yeah teams. that's what i was talking about so teams were the dendro i think the middle ground of of people being like um I think the middle ground, personally, and if I make a video, I will I will highlight this. The middle ground of people being like, wow, like Hyperloom is only a really good like boost to like a high floor but low ceiling. And the people that are like, well, like the people that want to just clear and the people that want to clear super fast. Look, if you want to just clear and you want a free to play team that can clear, there's a lot of four stars that make a really strong Hyperloom team with like almost, not almost no, but like very, very much less investment time than a the same build on a crit carry. Whereas if you want to fully max it, 
and you really care about Hyperloom that much, then explore the chasm, save your Primo Gems, and get someone like Alhytham. Because then you'll have very meta competitive DPS while still playing a Hyperloom team. Boom, you have Alhytham, Nahida, Farina. Or you don't need three five stars. You can do like fucking uh, bench Farina, Ghosting Cho. Boom, two four stars there. Ideally, you have Alhytham, Nahida. True. But maybe you could fucking bench Nahida too. That, that wouldn't be ideal, but you can. Teams. So, teams where the Dendro or the Electro character become a meaningful source of raw damage dealing. On these teams, <coughs> you typically pick a Hydro character that is not applying that much Hydro because that way you'll be able to maintain quick and uptime more consistently on opponents. As a reminder, generating blooms deactivates the quick and status on opponents. This means that if you use a very strong Hydro applier like a Shincho, you will basically have no quick and yeah, uptime. Yeah, these subtitles are shit. <laughs> like, I know he didn't make it, I think they're automated, but like a shit. Uh, and regardless of the Dendro, that that's not as bad. Characters you pick, you will just be running that a Hydroom team. On the flip side, a character like Furina makes things quite balanced because uh, she's not a great Hydro player. What typically happens on Furina teams is that you get much less Hyper Bloom damage, but the quick and uptime is much more frequent. And ironically enough, these are the teams that include Hyper Bloom that I like the most because they allow great raw damage dealers like Alhatam or Sino to stand out more. While it's technically true that you can still increase Hyper Bloom's output through things like an Ahita's Constellation too. The same is true for Quicken, so I don't think that's a very good argument. And at the end of the day, the bottom line here is that it's truly impressive what your characters can do if you hyper invest on them. The other day, I was looking at this Ganyu Melt Speedrun, Ganyu, a character that many people believe to be weak nowadays, but it's still quite astounding what she can do when hyper invested. And this applies to any character, really. Anybody can pick his main, hyper invest on him, and then get these very impressive runs. The truth is, after you play the game for a long time, you're eventually going to get pretty good artifacts. The more you fall into this deep artifact hell, the more you're going to be attracted by this kind of hyper-invested stuff. So, in a way, the more you play the game in a certain way, the older Hyperbloom can grow for you. Hyperbloom is for sure the safest bet you can make to achieve a certain level of damage at minimum, but it comes a point where you don't need to play it safe anymore. Truthfully, it's not like this for every player though, because uh, there are still players that have played for a long time, but uh, don't care about all of this hyper stuff. And that's how teams like Nubilet Hyperbloom or Grizzly Fridge are born. Do you know how easy it would be? Do you know how much better my life would be as a Shao main if Hyperbloom didn't exist and I could just shill everyone to pull Shao? It would be a beautiful world! We'd have so many Shao mains, I wanna hate it, but I don't! That should tell you enough! This is a stun lock. I'm not even going to read it. Nice try. You got paid by the government to stun lock me. So teams that kind of lower the potential damage of the main DPS compared to the norm, in this case New Villette or Grizzly, in exchange for more Hyperblooms and so higher floor damage. And honestly, this is where I think the hate for Hyperbloom stems from. So this mania from some people that uh, want to slap this reaction onto every team. If you tell yeah, that's New true. main that has hyper yeah, like, I'm pretty sure the Hyper Bloom Nevelette teams are, like, they'll work, but, like, it's literally worse than Dea there because Dea gives you, like, a vape plus interruption, like, resistance interruption, plus you don't need a healer. Like, there's teams that are better for Nevelette. Unless Calx have changed, like, I'm not, like, refreshing this every day, but mania from some people that uh, want to slap this reaction onto every team. If you tell a Nubilet main that has hyper invested in his character to play the hyper boom variant, you will probably just get a big fuck you as a response. That's because <laughs> in this case, it's I have never heard of swear before. the main potential of the character to benefit a second play style that honestly doesn't synergize that well with him. So it's definitely something that depends on how you play the game. Personally, I can definitely relate to the people that dislike hyper bloom because at my level of investment on my account, Account, it just doesn't make much sense for me to use Hyperbloom teams. I have many constellations, many signature weapons, and a lot of great artifacts, so sure. I just don't need it. Many people like to say that Hyperbloom is unbalanced because it gives you too much damage for free, but in my opinion it's perfectly balanced because it comes with pros and cons. This perception of Hyperbloom as the ultimate weapon of Genshin kind of makes it overrated. That's why I mostly disagree when people say things like, oh, there is Hyperbloom, so there is no point in me pulling for that character or playing this character because the truth is that many of these characters that people do post or just call shit have an untapped potential that can push them higher than these hyper boom teams and i'm done for today if you enjoyed this yeah, video please subscribe. i agree with almost everything the last point true fob the last point of 
like the point that I like to make is like, hey, because you have basically free single target team, if you want to do it, you should never feel like you need a DPS that helps you in single target. You can get it. Like Hu Tao is great. Yoimiya can work. <laughs> she can. But it's like, you should never be like, fuck, I need them. Because you don't. Like, you're fine. You can clear you can clear any boss Day two billion if you just farm a little bit. Makes you overrated. That's why I mostly But also, play. um, I think at like this, like my level investment, you don't need hyper bloom. But the thing is, it's like you're still probably like who's like probably top three DPS? Well, this guy. Okay, how do I build a team with him? Okay, well, I'm gonna do Nahida. Then I want Electro to quicken. And then, well, I might as well have a fucking Hydro and then I'm hyper blooming. Like, yeah, it's quick bloom, but like, you know, we're probably gonna be fucking hyper blooming. And it's like, if hyper bloom wasn't good, then you would just pure quicken. Like, if hyper bloom wasn't good, this team would like always be better. Or like, uh, maybe not that one, but like Zhongli and like Fischl, right? Or like Beto or some shit. What up, Slice? it's perfectly balanced because it comes with pros and cons. This perception of Hyperbloom as the ultimate weapon of Genshin kind of makes it overrated. That's why I'm sure Quicken is better than Farina? <coughs> You're benching Farina for Fischl? Nah, surely not. Say things like, oh, there is Hyper Bloom, so there is no point in me pulling for that character or playing <clears> this character because the truth is that many of these characters that people do post, but like, this is a really good, like, most of my song comes from like the arguments I've heard, not from this video. This video is good, uh, good overall. So, banger, go support the goat. Um, Why is he drinking soy sauce? Dude, you fuck. This is coffee. It's just black coffee. Like the video again, sure. I, um... I'll straw box with you, Slice! I pre-typed the comment. I said... Well said. Okay, because I, I low-key pre-watched, but don't... Like, I pre-watched, but I, I didn't watch all of it. Like, I pre-watched parts of it. I pre-watched the, like, the bad part, not the good part. Oh, some people like... Not all of it! I said, well said. The problem is how did the high floor, low ceiling take is that while it's true, Getra unfortunately doesn't have any content harder than floor 12. Because of that, when players are looking for guides slash help to reach that DPS threshold, a team that can relatively easily clear floor 12, Hyperloom, is... Uh, I forgot a comma. Is oftentimes very good at doing that because of how high the floor is and how flexible it is in sense of easy rotations and having three to four unique and useful elements in your team. You did a good job pointing out the lack of needing it for already seasoned players who have many well-invested DPSs as well as these sort of high end of hyper bloom slash quick bloom teams with al Haitham slash farina or others you're gonna reach the limit little bro holy essay Mr. Socks, you mentioned fast clears in Abyss. What do you think about this fast clear? Why did you link me a Reddit clear? I'm not watching this. Um, as well as the sort of high end of Hyperbloom slash Quicken teams with Al Haitham for- I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? It's... Ah, I can't think! I was in the wordle. Cream. Uh... 
Uh, I think a lot of the overrating is mostly for clearing the is first time for is mostly for first time clearing abyss where the em investment needed usually is a lot easier than the crit team alternatives thumbs up emoji What do we think? Bro, stop. Is this not a good... It's a supportive comment. He ain't reading all that. Oh, you don't know if I have the live video for... DPS Yeah, I might make um a video about hyperbole at some point, but anyways, good video though. We don't care, bro. Where's the Duluth guide? This is why I hate you guys. Not hate is a strong word. It's the live stream starts in an hour. I didn't even play Genshin yet. I was going to play Genshin. I have to. One ship, two ship, blue ship, red ship. Uh, let me speed around the Wordle Genshin. Uh, background music? Actually, given the day, I think this background music is more fitting. Mirai DM me watching the stream. Hello, Mirai. Time to play Nikkei. I'm not playing Nikkei. Uh, 
I have no clue. What nice weather. Especially good for keeping an eye on things. No, that's not Dea. The... What nice weather. That's not Dea, but then the middle sounds like Dea. Listen. What nice weather. Not Dea. Especially good for keeping that an eye like on Dea. things. I don't think this is Dea. But I don't know who the fuck this is. Who cares about wet? Oh, Chevreuse, because she, she's she's like, oh, keeping an eye. She has an eye patch, and she keeps it. I'm a fucking That's genius. Nice weather. I'm a Especially fucking genius. For keeping an eye on things. Daily ability? Oh, an eye, because she would have been two eyes if she, uh, what is this? Slime? That looks like a fish. Kokomi? Kokomi Nation? Oh, it's Guoba. Never mind. It's... Oops. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! There it is. As I walk through it. Chat. I'm just gonna say it. Because Chiori is coming out. And because it's been a while since we got some Geo reruns, either Albedo or Ito, there's a very high chance that we see them today. And if we see both Chiori and another Geo character, then that means that this stupid motherfucker who has no friends, no one that loves them, and no one who wants to sit next to them at the lunch table might be back and in the abyss. And if that happens... <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy. So we'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Anyways. Hyperbloom clears Wolf Floored. Chad, do you like my new Sha build? Yay or nay, smash or pass. Fob, are you still here? This clears your kaching, little bro. 122 ER too, because I I like I like to pretend I need ER or Twitch chat keeps getting mad at me for not having ER. I don't need ER. We're not the same. I don't need ER. What if we go staff of the Scarlet Seas? He knows the Geo Trio. I'm gonna say it right now, and I'm really sorry if you like these characters, because I do too, and no disrespect. But if they release Chiori, Albedo, and Ito in the same patch, it's gonna be the most dead patch in the world, by the way. I I'm just saying. It's gonna be the most dead patch in the world. Like, nobody cares. I'm actually sorry. I'm actually sorry. I care. I, I care. But, it yeah. Bro's not even top 40 on Akasha. First of all, Akasha doesn't mean anything. Second of all, uh, you said not top 40? What is that? Uh, 24? Huh, that's crazy. Number 24. Huh, that is crazy. That is crazy. Number 22 on the solo show? Yeah, because the, uh, they don't fucking matter because this is pre Shan Yun. And Shan Yun would actually make my show significantly better. Because guess what? Shen Yun gives uh, some crit rate. I'm going to do a vermilion clear now. I'm going to do a vermilion clear now. I wasn't going to do it today, but you guys made me do this. And let this be a lesson that your actions have consequences. Do you want to see me like this? Why well, am I only plunging for 80? Oh, that's why. Okay. I'm going to change my goblet to a Geo one. Now the game thinks I'm a Geo main. And now they're going to give me an Anemo goblet because if you want Anemo, you don't get it. But if you don't want Anemo, you get it. 
Okay, this isn't that good, but but it worked. It worked. Wait, wait, it's not that good, but we might have cracked the code. We might have cracked the code. Wait, let's go again. Let's go again. I read a comment being like, if you don't want an emo, you like an emo goblins, that's when you get them. And honestly, maybe that's the truth. Fuck. Yo, Slice, you want a strong box? Fuck, imagine. Unlucky. EM circlet? Aw, oh, dude, EM is so rare. I'm never gonna have a fucking Hyper Bloom team, man. Fuck. <laughs> uh, anyways. Let me roll this goblet. Let's see what we get. Boom. Uh, okay, I know this piece looks bad, but if it gets 40 crit damage, it is unironically really good. Wait, let me uh, play a clip for some motivation. Wait, what is the fucking... Dude, what the fuck is the command? Does anyone have the clip? Dude, where's the... Where's the 20 crit rate fucking feather? Wait, these are only the featured ones. Started coping. Oh, there it is. We'll never use. I probably do somewhere here. Like, what is this? Why is this locked? Whatever. That's a plus 20. Goodbye. Oh, fucking God. No, this... Whatever. Uh... <laughs> If he can get 20 crit rate, I can get 40 crit damage. No! Ah! It's okay, it's fine. At least I can play Hyper Bloom. Yeah, well. Can you let me in your world? You're so lucky. Let me show you something. Come here. Let me show you something. Have a seat. I can't equip that. I have the wrong feather on, though. Maybe I should do Abyss? I might have time to Abyss before it reset, um, comes out. Can, can you please play your... I'm not reading that. Dude, I didn't... I don't have a moaning compilation. That's not... AI is getting out of hand. Why are you farming Vermillion? This is why. This is why. That could actually be good. That could actually be good. 
I'm not gonna say it. I was if. Is Jade Fall good on Shin Yan? Oh, Shen. Okay, you misspelled. Sh <sighs> what does Jade Fall even give again? Why do I have this fucking weapon? Energy. Damage. Uh, restore energy. Gain elemental damage bonus for the corresponding elemental tie for 1% to 12%. Yeah, eh, no. Have you, why would I have seen someone react to my Bennett guide? What is there to react to? How is that a reaction? Wow, good guide. Thanks, man. How do you react to a guide? <laughs> Although, I could make a new better guide. There's probably some new stuff. There's Farina now, so you can actually build some different stuff. And, um, yeah. There's also, uh... What else is there? There's, uh... Yeah, C6 now is like a lot more relevant. That's what I was trying to say. C6 is a lot more relevant now because Farina and Shen Yun. It's actually, there's a lot of good teams with C6. Like, I think I should activate it at this point because of Shen Yun. There's actually a lot of stuff you can do now, which is cool. Team I might eventually. Oh. 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 Spokey was playing Genshin, looking to play Genshin, looking into reasons why not to C6 Bennett. If that's still a contingent issue, then I will make an updated video on it. I could actually make an updated short. That would take like 40 seconds to make. Might be better. Maybe I will. If people are still wondering, I don't want them to get like two-year-old information. I think it's worth... I think at this point in the game, it's worth C6ing. For sure. Granted, even a year ago, I would say like it's whatever. Like it's not bad to activate it. Unless you're like a Eula. But even with Eula, it's like you don't really care. Because Eula teams don't use Bennett, and if you do, you're trying to speedrun, get a big... Like, you're not speedrun, you're trying to get a big number to screenshot, and even if you're doing that, doing pyro normals doesn't really matter, I don't think. I might. I, that's a good short idea. Let me write it down. Uh, idea short of C6 Bennett. Update with Shan Yun Farina stuff. Also, maybe a new Bennett guide? Question mark. The guide isn't outdated, though. Like, it's not... Well, it's, like... At this point, I should update it for Freena stuff, but the information there is still good. The only thing is, now, with Freena, you can actually stack healing on Bennett. Like, there's a reason to want healing. Whereas before, there's, like, none. So, uh, yeah. Anyways. The Duluth guide is outdated. Fuck you. Yes, it is, but fuck you. But every time I read comments, I think it's more of a hot take to like the uh, I think average people still would rather go uh Skyward Bennett. So, you know, you can do that. But um yeah. Although to be fair, I think with Farina Skyward's probably the best. Not because Aquila's worse. Because, uh, like, objectively speaking, base stack is just... Like, theoretically, if your artifacts are perfect, base stack's always better. Because you can't build base stack on your artifacts. You can build ER. You can't build base stack. But if you actually care about your healing and you're playing Farina, you need a lot of ER and you also need a lot of HP. So that's kind of hard. <clears throat> Flat attack om. Um. Richie, you have been subbed for three months. Please tell me that was an ironic. Please tell me that was ironic. Please confirm. Please confirm.
But yeah. <laughs> base attack doesn't count towards. Uh, sorry, flat attack isn't base attack. It's not the same. Well, <laughs> with rocks. You're so goofy, Navia. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so goofy. Oh, also to clarify in case, because I don't know if it... I don't want this to seem like I took a stance or something. I don't mind people like reacting or watching my guides. If anything, it's free publicity. Like, I'm not, I just, I meant it as like a... Like when someone was like, they reacted to your guide. It's like, okay, like did I? I think the word watched is more appropriate. Hi, Mr. Zyx. Can you check my EU Xiao? Uid, 712,902,495. Uh... No, but thanks for your bits. I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, I... Okay, here's the thing. You know when, like, the teacher, you're like, Teacher, I really have to pee. And they're like, listen here. Umberto, that's your name for the situation. Listen here, Umberto. If I let you pee, I'm gonna have to let everyone else go pee. And then you go pee, and then everyone else raises their hand, everyone goes to pee, and then the class never progresses. And now, personally, I think that's kind of fucked. You should let your fucking students go pee. However, they have a point. If I do your account review, right? I review your UID for 100 bits, then, the, then every 100 bit, I'm gonna be stun locked for two minutes. However, I do kind of hate that teacher and I don't want to be that teacher. So just for you, we'll do the review. Fine, fine, let me find this. It is EU though, which means I'm gonna have to use Enka, but it's fine. Um, seven, one, two, nine, zero, two, four, nine, five. All right, what did you say? Review my Xiao. Okay, this is good. Uh, crit rate, C4. I have to make sure this is real. Give me a second. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Is my game going to crash? Why did it... Wait, I didn't copy the UI. Oh yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, fuck you, slime. I didn't get the parry though. Uh, who the fuck is Trunks? Anyways. Shower review. That's good. That's concerning, but good. No. I just want you to understand, for reference, that Shao C4 is the biggest mis is one of humanity's biggest mistakes. It's not the worst thing that we've ever done. But it's up there. Uh, I assume yes. Okay, I assume you want to get C6. Maybe it's like a it's a placeholder. That's fine. Vermilion? Let's look at your build. That's good. 
Uh, 47 EM is wasted, but still really good. I don't like you. That's pretty decent. <laughs> okay, that was fucked. This is a good feather. Uh, this is okay. I mean, I say okay because my standards are really high, but this is good. This is also really good. I don't like you. I don't like you. I'm sorry. I get jealous around Vermillion. Uh, it's a good chow. You need more. Well, you don't need 70. Like 70 is fine. But you, at, at that level of investment, crit rate's a lot more valuable than crit damage. Uh, however, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You get credited with someone like Shen Yun. So, you probably, you know. What is this, by the way? What the? That's fine, I guess. I mean. Uh, two Viridescent is kind of useless. You can be like, ooh, the ERs of that is so good. But in reality, you have the signature, so you don't need that much ER. And you're running Shao, you're probably running Farazon. So, like, you probably don't need the ER. Um, but yeah. But yeah, pretty good Shao. Um, I would just try to get more crit rate. Now, if you thought I would let you off the hook that way, clearly you must be new here. I mean, that easily. 30 crit damage on a circlet. 30 crit damage on a feather. Uh, dice roll. All right. One to six. You got a six. You are banned for 17 years. Unlucky. All right. Wait, do I have any pulls on this account? Whoa, three pulls. Sorry. Sorry. Slasher C0X, listen to me. Okay, th yo, I literally said that if I let one of you go pee, I'll have to let everyone go pee, and I didn't want that. Please stop chucking bits for a review. I can't. I, 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 I like, I appreciate it. I can't. Oh, we got nothing. Do I have a free pull, maybe? I do. Fuck. Wait, surely I have more somewhere. Events. Fuck. <laughs> um. Well. Don't know all his own mods. True. Wait, there's so many skins. The fuck. Wait. Okay, it's now March. Synchro's in the shop. You for the, for from now on, you are not allowed to cope about Hyperloom and play fucking Barbara and, and then complain about it. He is now. I am deeming him free to play for this month. Okay, get your Synchro. If you ever want to trade. And for reference, my free-to-play Asia account has enough star glitter to get Synchro. Well, I bought a Blacklift pull instead, but I have enough leftover to where I could get a uh, Synchro, and I don't even pull on that account anymore. VL Rira donated five dollars. Stop! Thanks for five dollars, Villa. I I literally just said I couldn't. I just said I couldn't. Minus 24 star glitter? Wait, Blacklift Pole's not bad. Why are you shit talking a Blacklift Pole? If you shit talk Blacklift Pole, you are free to play Phobic. Because Shao. Wow, that took so long to load. What the fuck? Shao! Oh, I don't have a blacklist. He has a lot of good options, but not everyone has a free to play option. So you might have to blacklist. If not, you can missive win spear. Missive is actually potentially better. It depends on the uptime of your passive, but usually it's better because blacklist pull is hard to proc the stack. So usually I would go missive, but it's an old event, so you might not have it. Uh, so blacklist pull would be your free to play option. If not, you can do something like white tassel, but if you use white tassel, yeah, it's a little cringe. 
Five, she's better at 140 ER. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Yes, you can go Fav. Yes. But if you have Fav. Okay, if you have Fav and you play Shao, it's actually not bad. However, two things. One, well, there are two worlds. Either you're like high investment, in which case, if you don't have a better option. Okay, let me calm down. The odds are, if you don't have a lot of Fav Lances, you would probably rather give it to a support, like maybe Yao Yao, maybe Zhongli, maybe someone you're using, and then Shao and offensive pull on. But if you need the energy on Shao and your teammates, Fav is really good. And potentially your... I don't even want to say best option, but it can be. No, it isn't. Fuck you. It's not. But it, it's good. It's one of the better... Like, as far as Gacha Force goes, go, it's really good. Five-star weapons are a pretty decent upgrade, though. Um, and then it is like best teams you don't need ER. Well, his best team, not no plural. But the odds of you having this team are, are a lot slimmer than you having like a, a better weapon. So, yeah. Because the thing is like Lithic's really good too. And Deathmatch is pretty cracked. And the thing with Deathmatch is like it helps you build him a lot. Because you get, uh, same with like crit substats. They just help. But like, what if you're like, if you're like, so let's say you're like, okay, like, let's say you're free to play Shao, you don't have a lot of weapons, and you're running like a C0 Farzan, then something like Fab is really good, because it helps your Shao, and it also helps your fucking Farzan from needing, instead of needing 368 ER, she'll only need 324, so it's pretty uh, achievable, 324 ER, very easy, so, you know, okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and you guys are gonna get mad at me, but I'm gonna do it. R5 drill? Yes, you can also prospector's drill. But I swear that weapon isn't real. Like, I pulled it, I looked at it, I was like, oh, this seems pretty good. But like, I feel like no one has it. Dude, okay, type, oh! Wait, this could be a Farina piece. Dude, type me smile in the chat if you have prospector's drill, but don't lie. Don't lie. Okay, that's too many me's. You do not have Prospector's Drill. <laughs> Yo, type me, smiley face in the chat. If you have, if you have range gauge, you don't have this weapon. Don't type me, smile. You, nobody has this. I do. All right, let's level the piece we just got. Damn, so many followers today. Thank you. You know what? If you... Okay, I'm going to make a Xiox guarantee. This is... Okay, okay. Everyone who just followed... Your next artifact will roll however this one rolls. That's a guarantee. If this only gets flat defense, I'm sorry you just got fucked. If it rolls crit, congratulations. But we're in this together. We are now binded, soul and blood. Bound, not binded. Are you fucking stupid? Yeah, yeah, you are. First roll, please. Well, <laughs> you're fucked. No, this is actually good for, first of all, 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's aesthetic. Second, it's good for Farina, who uses Golden Troop. So this is a good Farina piece. This is a good Farina piece? Yo, I'm so sorry. I'm actually sorry. Okay, wait, one more, one more, one more. Let me, uh... Okay, okay! Okay, crit damage, not bad. Crit damage, not bad. Okay, one more crit roll is actually good. Like, no cope, one more crit damage is actually good. Or crit rate. Not bad. Not bad. Only one miss. HP is good. Crit is good. Flat defense sucks, but not bad. Yeah, it's good. Uh, the reason why I say not bad instead of like really good is because I already have this. 
<laughs> but what's nice is like this gives HP, so I could give this to Freena, and then this would go on like Navia or uh, probably Fischl. Yeah. Why am I keeping these? I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't know. But I'll give that to my fish, uh, my Farina for now. Shower me with praise. Wait, should I give my Farina noblesse? <laughs> Yo, let me cook for a second. Should I give my Farina noblesse and then only care about my Shao's damage? But I feel like at that point, Bennett's better. <laughs> well, okay, never mind. Dude, 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 I just care about Shao. <laughs> but at that point, Bennett's probably a better unit. I think Farina's only better because of her personal damage too, I think. At that point, don't use VV. Look, Millith, Song of... Do you think I'm using VV? I'm not. You're supposed to go VV on, on Shen Yun in this, in, or for, uh, Farzan on this team. But I'm not. <laughs> VV on Farina. What if I go crystallize Chow and then I pick up the hydro crystal? And then you run Albedo. Let me cook. Chiori! Sorry. Um, I should probably level this to nine, can I? Okay. I can pro I can craft this. Wait, let's actually level it to nine. I'm a I'm a Farina enjoyer. Should probably crown it, honestly. Why is he standing on the table? Uh, Farina, Talons, boom, boom, boom. All right, 9, 10, good enough for now. Uh, yeah, this is, I don't even have the fucking lightless mass. It's fine though. I'll double crown her eventually. Uh, did I crown Nevelette? Yes, I did. Genuine question, who's an okay replacement if I don't have Fiorina? Did you just say Farina? I couldn't hear the TTS. A replacement for Farina in what team? Shao? Bennett. Bennett is the replacement for any character in a Shao team you don't have. You don't have Shen Yun? Play Shao. You don't have Farina? Play Shao. You don't have Farzan? Seek employment. What? Sorry, no, play Sucrose. Uh, Sucrose is fine. Or Shen Yun. Uh, Jean also works. Depends. You don't, you don't need her, but... Yeah, Bennett is usually the... Wait, is it? Actually, that's not true. According to the one YouTube short we saw, the most important thing of a Shao team is a shield. True. So actually, bench Farzan for uh, Zhang Li. True. No, Layla. True. What up, Carl? Never mind. Okay, let me uh, uncap this resin. Uh, this wasn't my fault, by the way. Someone, someone gave that to us. I just can't disclose who. Honestly, if you don't have Farina, you could probably use like You could probably use Syncho or like Yalan, let's say Syncho Yalan and then you could replace Farzan with like Nahida and Shen Yun with Kuki and then you have a pretty good team right there uh, That's what I would do, but it's up to you. It's up to you Pretty good team <laughs> The last says in 18 minutes did it start yet? No, not yet. I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. You see the get side of this video on Hyperloom? Yeah, it was good. C1 Genyun, C1 Furina, C6 Fayuzan, and Nova Million. Do I pull for Xiao? I won't hold you back. There's a $10 to sleep. Uh, what did you just ask? Uh, Miss Mirror, this is your month's. Well, I don't wanna, uh, come out a little bit. Was C1, Shen Yun, Farina, 
Okay, I have a question. I really mean no disrespect, but why, why would you, like, I'm not encouraging pulling for constellations, but if you're gonna, why would you stop at the terrible one instead of getting the good one for not one character, but, 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 but two characters? I mean, this isn't... Exploration base? True, actually. It's not bad. They're not bad. It's just like C2 is so big. C1 Farina is good. C1 Farina is okay. It, it's okay. Sure. It's good. But like this is so good with Shao. C2 Farina is so good with Shao. But yeah, this is fine. It helps you scale up uh, faster and you also get more. So yeah. What if I don't have Xiao? It's not bad. Can I go Bennett? Dude, why are these guys not grouped? This is taking way longer than it should. Lucielle's donated ten dollars. Ruined my sleep schedule for this, but it's okay because it's Zy Zero X. Wait, is it? Was this unlucky? <clears throat> you think that's the best constellation in the game? Don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Nahida C2 enjoyer. Shangling C4, true, actually. Shangling C4, true. Um, wait, wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 25%. That's tight. My point is more so there's some characters where I don't see the point of getting C1 unless you want to get C2. I don't think Farina is necessarily one of them, but... Like, Shen Yun C1 and Farina C1, if you choose one of the two to get C2 for your Shao, which is I think what you're building, would be a lot more beneficial than like 1-1. One, one. But obviously, like, gotcha is gotcha, so you can't really choose. For C2 with key competes. Yeah, Frida C2 is really good. I like, I, I'm not, yeah. Frida cons also makes her better with uh, Shao, especially pre Shen Yun. Well, even post Shen Yun, but just because it's like, let's say you're playing Bennett, it's like pretty hard to heal enough uh, alone. But Shen Yun kind of changes that. Anyways, let me go connect. I didn't sleep last night, chat, so I'm a little, uh, I'm a little. Delayed. I'm I'm on high ping right now. Attack <laughs> goblet shout free. No, attack goblet shout is good. It just it just depends. Like uh, Shen Yun makes it worse. Farina Farzan make it better. Uh, Marie Chausset makes it better. Vermilion makes it worse. So like it depends. It's not bad though. Like it, it can be better depending on your substats and teams. Yeah, I, I would use the optimizer for that. Still on Geo Goblet? No, I'm not. I'll change it. 
Still on iron point though. <laughs> Sorry. Four months sub. 100, 100, 100. How do you feel about 4.5? I don't feel. I have learned not to have feelings. I am indifferent. 4.5 is a live stream. I can't wait. Or maybe I can wait, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe we won't see. Yeah! Skyward! Scatter! Hello, Ch Ch Chessel. Anything here catch your eye? Yeah, you. Sorry, that was terrible. Do you think there's a chest here I haven't gotten? I feel like I've gotten them all. Fuck! Okay, it's fine. That's a chest. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck is it? It's probably up, right? Yeah, it's probably up. Ah, uh, I'm making that. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Woo! One should invent some form of curial discernment mechanism. All right, two primos. When's the live stream? 10 minutes. You're stuck with me till then. Rip Bozo. Minus 10 minutes of your life. Let's see if we get an achievement from the... I thought I... Dude, I swear I have the achievement for this. Why do I keep getting it? Maybe I don't? Yeah. I just joined. Did I miss the watch party? Yeah, you missed everything, actually. Now that you're here, it won't start. You fucked it up. It's your fault. Sorry. Okay. Who should I talk to? Ask little Lulu. Hello. Okay. Ask little Faye. All right. Cool. Ask little Meng. Hello. It's live? Yeah, but it's like a blank screen, isn't it? Wow. All right, anyways. Report back. Yes, sir. I'm such a fool. Hey, sure did. Ah, seven. I swear it was seven. I swear I saw seven. Wait, did I miss an achievement? I've been trying to you need to be wrong wraps for the past like four months and keep getting done wall gum. No, but I swear I must have it because I've done this so many times and I'm usually wrong. No, you guys are actually kidding. Wait, what's the achievement called? What is it called? Uh, One ship Genshin. Uh, Control F achievements. There's none. Never mind. I misspelled achievement. <laughs> if the player answers incorrectly, the commission's so-called work will be given afterwards. Oh my God. I actually needed to answer it wrong. The one time I pay attention. What? Okay, that's fucked. Whatever. Dude! Oh, what the fuck? Why'd they change it? I'm skipping the song. Sorry for your ears.
I answer it wrong, and I guess you get it again to commission next tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Can That's I what the wiki said. Send you more bits instead of subscribing. What's this? We'll see. Will you ask? Yes. If you want, don't feel forced to. Anyways, how you been, chat? <laughs> I've been good. I just uploaded uh, a Sparkle Guide and a shower video, if you're interested. There's that. Uh, there's a second shower video. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, sorry. I want to pull up the YouTube live stream because usually it's uh, higher quality. It's 1080p instead of 720. Wait, this one's 1080. Never mind. It's fine. Is that just for Star Rail? I don't know. Yo! Just as a 19 gifted. Damn! Appreciate it. WSS. You do live streams later for Gadget? Yeah, I'm thinking of Star Rail, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Floor 8. How do I link my account to get drops? Uh, usually, you have to do that through Twitch. For the live stream, they just give codes. So, yeah, you're gonna get 300 Primo gems. You can link it on Hoyo Lab or something. I don't know. I don't do that. I usually uh, copy-paste it in my game, but I forget to do it, and then I lose out on 300 Primos. But I know there's a way to automatically redeem it. I should probably figure it out. Do you see Jake's TikTok? I do not use that app. I will though! Actually! Okay, I have a TikTok, but it's like fucked, so I'm making a new one. Because the TikTok support team is a bunch of... No, sorry, I don't know them. They might be good people. I'm not going to flame them. However, they're not responding. So I have to make a new one. It is what it is though. Well, I don't have to, but... So bad. <laughs> Less social media is a W? Yeah, but it's not me using it. We're just like, po like I'm making shorts anyways. So why would I not put them there? Is my like, cause Alan's gonna be managing it. And it's like, why would I essentially, if it does well, I can pay him more is my logic. Like you're not going to make money on TikTok, So it's like, Whatever I do. Well, I mean, we'll see. It's just like wasted uh, content, if not, is my logic. I don't need to actually use it. What the fuck is a boba? It's a boba. I mean, you guys know I fucking hate Twitter, but I'm also uh, like, I, I use Twitter. Well, dude, my phone's been overheating, so I haven't had a phone for like five days. So I haven't been using it. My life's actually been better. But I just like, I, I don't know. I, I try to stay in my own bubble. I just, I post and then I close the app. <laughs> You're addicted? I'm actually not. I literally don't even like, I don't even use it that much. Look, Feb 28, Feb 26, Feb 25, 23. I don't even use it that much. 22, 22, 21, 19, 18. Okay, a lot of 18, 17. No, I don't use Instagram. That's daily usage, dude. What do you want from me? I don't know. I like you guys, not parasocially. Like, I feel like, you, okay, some communities are really funny. And some of my replies are funny. And sometimes I, 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 you know, I see tweets that make me laugh, but other times it's just depression, like actually. So I, I try not to use it too much. Like, 
by f I have scroll I have doom scrolled basically every app and none of them have ruined my day more than Twitter but it's also sometimes you know made me f happy why are you being normal dude I haven't slept I didn't sleep and I'm waiting for Chiori two exams next week Yeah, TikTok and YouTube shorts are entertaining, but the the and I I mean I make them. I I but sometimes I feel like once you start scrolling, you can't stop and then it's like it becomes brain rot. Like it, I I get I know this is hypocritical coming from a brain rotter. However, and it's it's entertaining, but I just like so the first few are entertaining, but after that you're in this like loop where it's like you don't you're not even like conscious anymore. It's like what am I I don't even know what I'm watching. It's like I can't stop, but I don't I'm not I don't know if I'm enjoying it or not. And then it, like you feel your brain cells blowing up. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem? Yeah, probably. Appreciate it, Glowy. Aboba. Turn off the music? Sure. Sure, there's 30 seconds. I'll mute alerts as well. Thanks for all the new subs and follows. I appreciate it. A lot of people here today. Chad, do you think I have time to strongbox an artifact? No, I definitely don't. Okay. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Ah, I don't have time. I don't have time. Hello, travelers. Hello. Welcome to the 4.5 special program. My name is Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, I'm hosting with... An old friend, right? Meowdy, everyone. My name is Julia Gu. I'm the voice of Kirara. Meow. And I'm Brittany Lotta, the voice actor for Chiori. I'm really excited to be on this special program with you guys for the first time. And I... Uh... Hi, everyone. My name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also very <laughs> excited to be here. Let's give my... everyone a chibi applause! My name is Ox, and I voice Mika. Hey, but everyone, seriously, I'm Mika. this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more curious to know about the contents of version 4.5. Why don't we find out by taking a look at the version 4.5 trailer? Yes! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Wow. I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Monstaff's entire wine industry Banger. in my own two hands! I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become! I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Alternatively, a strength enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? The pain from walking on all that rough terrain, it's like it was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. <laughs> okay. Jerry, your, your shipment's here. Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. I'm to cut my Wait, own two swords? No one was... can tell me what to do. Oh, yeah, we saw this. We saw this in the drip marketing. Like that too. Delicate as silk. Next customer, the scene is on the case. Where the fuck did Navia come from? Fiori here, I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? This music's so good. You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? Okay. Chiori looks cool. Probably a filler patch outside of that. No disrespect, but that's cool. I'll move my face so I don't block the code. You should redeem that for 100 primos. We'll pit it in chat. It'll also be in the Discord. Make sure our Discord in case you miss it or, or want to come visit. Chiori looks cool. Uh, also, actually, no... Uh, 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 if I say... If I say this word, will it be unmonetized on YouTube? I don't know. No porn acting for real because I actually have seen nothing about Shiori because I, 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 I kind of just don't care. I mean, I actively try not to look. So I haven't seen anything. So actually all her animations, everything I have not seen, I don't know what the fuck she does. No capping. I just finished the sparkle guide. So 
I haven't had time to care. Well, okay, I wouldn't check anyways because I don't check. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I'm not gonna lie, but I usually don't. <laughs> you should tweet dead pat. Nope, I'm not tweeting. Okay, I might, Welcome but not back, that. Travelers. I'm Hello? sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> yeah, tell me. With it then. Unsurprisingly, our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Oh, why was it in the box? Whoa, it's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. She probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. Oh yeah, I'm a designer too. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I thought that like cashmere? a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. You could get a really good read on her based on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive. Like the kind of person who always says exactly what she means. Mm -hmm. I also get the impression that she's not afraid of going after what she wants. <laughs> yeah, it must have taken a lot of effort for an Inazuman to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion industry. Yes. Mm. I bet her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm-hmm, you know it. You all seem pretty familiar with Chiori already, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities, so... I'm not! Let's Please show me them! appreciate her fighting style. Let's... Fighting. <laughs> it's up to me to decide who I want to be and to Wait, did you have a puppet? Please. No one can tell me what Never mind, I just got baited. Okay. Hilly Trill didn't die from Mato. that. Oh, she does have a puppet thing! Oh, okay, that's cool. I am the cutting edge of fashion. That's not bad either. Puppet's the best part. Oh my god, Ooh. he's so cool. <laughs> like, that felt I short. I guess so they're always cute. like that. You could say it is a puppet! Cut above the rest. Uh, That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love her animations. They're so sleek. Yes. Yeah, super stylish. Oh, Major it's like... <laughs> it's the skill is like a Geo Albedo. Add them to my own it's like if we got a... <laughs> Did you see that during her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Notice that. Good catch. Yeah. Observers often consider Giori to be an unconventional okay. designer. She has a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside from using Someone. her own yeah, it is a doll. to cut fabric. That's cool. She also Skills on attack and defense. Oh no. Her longtime personal Oh no. It's probably it's probably like Albedo then, I guess. Tamoto is indispensable to how Chiori expresses her unique creative vision to the world. It's like she has an aura that proclaims to everyone. Active this geoconstructs? Is fashion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, the bright totally. side is Chiori's founded ingenious way. Cool, to I can talk over this. The bright side is Tomoto doesn't look like a geoconstruct, but, uh, but it depends on the geoconstruct, which means geoconstructs are fucking stupid because any enemy costs on them and they break. You play Zhongli's fucking doll, the wolf lord walks into it is dead. But wait, wait. Chiori made that Tomoto it doesn't look like that. It doesn't, it's not so a construct, I don't think so. That's cool. Maybe right? she could expand into a new industry if she wanted. <laughs> but it needs sure. one. When to get two? Skill is right? Held, it says. Chiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack enemies from multiple angles. And as an experienced businessman. Yeah, woman, there's two now. Chiori knows Th does it leave? Does the second one leave changes. if the pillar breaks? I Chiori wonder. Will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto is active, and there are other geo constructs on the field. It says summon, so I guess not. Because why would it unsummon? Specific talents. Chiori can trigger Probably special not. effects when using her skill or normal attack during the upward strike on her element. Is that a fucking cloth hanger? Ooh, interesting. So it seems like you can even switch your active Whoa! character by using Whoa! her skill. Uh huh. Her little assistant seems Wait, that's to save her cool. a lot of trouble. Oh, absolutely. Chiori doesn't like to waste her time on um trivial matters. If someone tests, I don't her know about Navia plunge, but with strike oh, it's Geo infusion. Okay, never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> she already may be a professional I'm down for Navia Plunge. Really fun to watch in combat. Tapping sure. the North Eye will cause Chiori to gain Geo Infusion. Is it to anyone purposes. or just her though? It also uh, needs to serve a functional purpose. Hmm. When Chiori is in your active party, sure. if any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider. <laughs> Can I play Geo Shao? Their movement speed increase. Maybe it's just for her. No, it's probably just for her. Makes her a true designer. But imagine. Her travels will definitely be smoother when she's in the party. <laughs> it's probably and just for her. Well, 
Maybe not. Oh? Hmm? Kiori tends to run into a lot of trouble. Oh. It might be because of her blunt personality, but uh. unexpected problems often arise, no matter how much she tries to avoid Pedo them. and passive? Did I miss it? I'm sure that a straightforward person like Chiori has her own methods of getting herself out of those situations quickly. <laughs> it's possible. Chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision. She isn't afraid to go after what she wants, and that approach has made her very successful. Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chioria brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. So she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure, such as participating in Fontaine Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh, I bet she probably has to go all out on Fashion Week. Chiori's story quest, the Sisoria chapter, will become available in version 4.5. Oh, like Chiori like scissors! Company Chiori as she confronts unexpected. Wait, never mind. Elon made that a slur. You can't say that. So you can't. What kind of challenge you can't. Is it? I'm sorry. We'll have to wait and see. You get but limited I'm sure on Twitter. That Kirara will be there to help Chiori, being her good friend and all. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of interactions they'll have. <laughs> I should mention that Chiori also designed Kirara's outfit. Oh, so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. If yeah. you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. That's cool, Actually, scissors. Travelers won't just be spending time with Chiori. Lynette's Hi, hangout event will also be available in version 4.5. After travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special reward. The Fatometer. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, Wait, the this what? is a pretty interesting tool. You can draw a random number from a hat when you interact with the fatometer. And then you get so resin based on the number. If you're stuck on a decision, they can use the fatometer as an interesting solution. Hmm. Yeah, if you're farming for artifacts or enhancement materials in co op mode, you might run into a situation where multiple Wait. people want to use the same character. Mm -hmm. Oh. But you can decide a winner by drawing a random number with the fatometer. <laughs> okay, I'm done. It seems pretty it's, a, it's literally gamble. For sure. You can roll Especially a dice. If you're as easily Wait, I'm going to use the fuck out of that, though. As I am. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore, then you can even use the fatometer to decide where you should start. Yeah, we're definitely using and that every day. Back and forth. <laughs> yeah. How about we try the fatometer? That's useless, but it's content, so. Oh, me first. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Have we decided what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, how about this then? Whoever draws the largest number gets to introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. I already got to introduce Okay, anything higher than a one, and I'll do Vermillion. All Roll right. again. I'll go. Okay! Oh. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm not doing Vermillion. My turn. <laughs> Dude, what? That's We're fucked. So close. <laughs> well, it seems like Zach is the winner. That's Take okay. Away, big man. Let's go. Uh. <clears throat> We'll have event wishes from Chiori and Ito in the first hey, half Ito, of version 4.5. A new five-star sword, Uraku Misugiri, will be featured on the weapon that was cool. event banner. Here's a small spoiler for Hey, I love Ito. I sure hope we don't sword. get this in the abyss. <laughs> Whoa. So it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. It might also work for Albedo. That's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Nervalette and Cosmo will also Oh my god, that's so good. Alright, well. <laughs> yeah, well. Sorry, first oh, half. I'm sorry. Small. It looks like we also have information about a new sorry, that's a type screenshot. Of wish. The Chronicled Wish. Mm. Uh, what's that? Yeah. Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from what? version 4.5. The Chronicled Wish. The Chronicled Wish banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. They'll oh. also be able to obtain Yo, weapons I... such as Hunter's Path and Wolf's And Beacon! Oh, wait, I've actually been saying about- oh, Wow. I've been saying they should do this for like a year. Wait, if so many characters and weapons are going to be on the same banner- All these can be chosen as your- It's kind of hard to pull for exactly- Please be good. Want, Please don't scam us. Please be good. Nope. You can chart a specific course for the character or weapon that yes. you want. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee what? your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, whatever you end up pulling is guaranteed to be what? a character. Oh, huh. The same is true for weapon pulls. Okay, that's actually... 
seems like a great opportunity for travel. Just a 50 50. That's actually pretty bog. Yeah. And I've been saying yeah. some characters one thing that I don't like clarify. need a full rerun, These but should be there. will only feature five star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Mm. More details about the chronicled wish banners will be revealed in an official announcement. Yes. Be sure to keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Also, version 4.5 will introduce a training guide system to make it easier for new travelers to explore Tibet. We'll provide more details later on in the program. Okay. Because, like, someone like Klee, if you're program, a Klee man, you deserve to pull for Klee at some point, but does she deserve a full redemption. rerun awesome. for, like, three weeks? Like this is so good for that. Assuming I understand it correctly. Maybe there's, like, a fine print where, like, you get fucked if you, I don't know, click the wrong button, but that seems pretty pog. And Dea's weapon and Tanari's weapon. Oh my god! This is not a drill. We are getting... He who tweets. All right, sorry, I was yapping. Uh, Dale's weapon and Tadari's, uh, Tadari's weapon are actually really good, by the way. Beacon of the Reed Sea is insane. So in case you're wondering, I'm very excited program. for that. We can talk Let's more about it after. Let's move on to the next bit of content. Ooh, let me see here. A bottle? Huh. Hmm. Mm. Judging from the shape of the glass and the color of the liquid, I'm guessing that the bottle has something to do with alchemy. And judging from our surroundings, okay. maybe monsters. Oh no, Dory! Fuck! Please no. Next, we're introducing an event Ooh, that takes that place is a in sick Mondstadt. Form. It's an alchemy event. Yay. As the city of Mondstadt continues to develop, its leaders are busy with planning for its future. The Knights of Favonius have always been conducting alchemy research, and they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion shop. The people of Mondstadt can learn more about alchemy, and the knights can better understand their needs. Everybody wins. It's, a, it's literally a staff. Super yeah. Exciting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially since travelers will get to run the potion shop during this event. Oh, and what'll that look like? In the alchemical ascension event, travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to increase the shop's revenue and expand their business. So it's a management sim. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Travelers right. who build up the revenue and run the shops smoothly are you blurred? Sorry. will be able to earn various rewards. Okay. Using That's really cool. gems and a four-star polearm. Dialogues of Desert Sages. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Travelers can also look forward to Hi, familiar companions at the shop. Hi, Yula. Travelers can scale their business even faster if they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Oh. Hmm. Sounds pretty neat. <laughs> I'm hyped. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's all I have to announce about this event. What's the next bit of news? Hmm. I feel like we don't even need to introduce this one. Everyone can understand that our upcoming content is about cats. <sighs> it's like I've returned home. <laughs> <laughs> cats? Julia's already gotten in the character. Hey, wait, wait a second. Sucrose also has animal ears, right? Hmm. Well, she doesn't have a tail, though. Oh, so Sucrose isn't part cat? No comment. Wait, really? She's not? Him? <laughs> we've completely gone off topic. I have cat ears, too. <laughs> They're just over. The most what the fuck event, is this? The Feline Fortress Ferdisi. <laughs> the Traveler and Paimon have encountered all sorts of strange creatures during their journey. I'm going to say it. But this, this is what Genshin looks like to non-Genshin players. To visit the familiar <laughs> cat's tail. Ah, that makes sense. Since they've been on the road for so long, this there's is no what? better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with some cuddly cats. Mm -hmm. Cat lovers of Tevat. Unite! Feline <laughs> Fortress for <laughs> for This event for, doesn't actually for, take place for at the cat's tail. Oh. A kind-hearted person recently prepared a new space for the cats to play to their heart's content. Oh. 
Travelers simply need to set up fluffy feline homes for the cats, satisfy specific target requirements, and provide the cats with their favorite food. I'm done. <laughs> Only then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the Throne of Meower. Uh, <laughs> playing with cats can be a little Oh my tricky. god, you can pet the fucking cat. I'll get angry if you do something that makes them uncomfortable. Just okay, never mind. Best. This one's good. <laughs> Once travelers have become good Dude, friends what? with all of the cats. Is that the first time in three years? A special friend. Yep. You can and pet the cat! Like Make it permanent, please. Very good friend to the cats. Hey, you know what all this cat talk reminds me of? Mm -hmm. Can you Card pet Mon? <laughs> In Tibet, they're pretty closely associated, oh, never right? Cool. I can definitely see travelers returning to the cat's tail to play some genius invocation TCG after playing <laughs> with all those cats. Play with the cats. Chat, stop play typing badge. The, the two the TCG players left play might be in cards. chat. Have some respect. Suddenly, I feel like there's we salute you. hours in the day. <laughs> you might be in trouble then. Version 4.5 is adding even more new cards, events, and challenges to Genius Invocation TCG for all travelers. Aside from playing with cats and engaging in card games, the developers also prepared some challenges that will give travelers the sure. opportunity to show up their skills. Ooh. In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Whoa. Wow. Sure seems like there are a lot of geniuses in Fontaine. I wonder that place has so many cool inventions. This genius inventor will lend the traveler a remote cannon that he invented to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down slimes. Oh, <laughs> that's cool too. <laughs> this game kind of reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. So, in this event, travelers will remotely operate a turret to fire elemental shells at an endless horde of slimes. <laughs> Try to defeat as many slimes as you can by triggering elemental Okay, reactions. not to sound like PETA right now, but what did these slimes the do to you? Rewards that you can obtain. Ooh. Yes, Give me delicious. Special equipment will also I'm starting to think we're the bad guy in Genshin. Will you even more points. Sweet. Maybe okay, the other twin was right. Involves a mysterious concoction called the phase potion. Oh, that's something phase! that Tommy developed, right? If I remember correctly, I love phase clan. From the oh my god! Shop. Didn't the traveler participate in a bunch of experiments to help him with his thesis? Yep. <laughs> he's made some improvements since then, and he's waiting for someone to test them out. <laughs> in previous challenges, you had to wait for the potion to take. Wait, no way! They're playing hyper bloom. Travelers will automatically enter time dilation mode when you enter the challenge arena. No hydro. Oh. You can even take pictures when this mode is active. Neat. Mm hmm. Time will resume when you move or use any type of skill. You'll enter time dilation mode again once you stop moving or using your skills. Mm hmm. Yep. Time will stop as long as you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be able to take tons of cool pictures of their characters. Yeah, absolutely. Travelers will Caps. also need to Sorry. focus on accumulating phase force during combat. Once you have enough of it, you'll be given an advantage that will help you complete the challenge. Awesome. Ooh. Also, the Leyline Overflow event will be returning in version 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Oh, Leyline Overflow! Well, okay, we take those. Finished introducing all Best part of the patch so far. In version 4.5. Uh, next up, we have... Uh, well, wait a second. We've oh. just announced a lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's take a short break and look at the last redemption code before we continue. Yeah, Wait, last? That's a good idea. Then we'll see everyone on the Yo, I swear this just started. Bye-bye. Where's Arlequino? Oh, cat. Let me move my face cam. Oh, shit. I'm gone. I'm back. Hello. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Can you leave again? Okay. Sorry for talking. Uh, that banner is actually, I'm actually hyped for that banner. What the fuck? Like, I heard rumors, but I did not expect that. What the fuck? Wait, so, okay. So it's 50. If you lose, okay. So you pick, you choose something to chart for. And if you lose, it's a 50-50. If, and then the second one is guaranteed. And if you lose the first one, you get a character or weapon, whatever you chose, right? It just depends. Okay, the what it depends on is what type of wishes it uses. I assume it's the fucking intertwined ones because they want money. Um, but still, Welcome back. that could be Pog. In addition to the new events in version 
The developers also plan to fuse system optimizations. Let's take a look. Yeah. Is After it called version 4.5, travelers first. will be able to view a character's talent upgrade materials on the character talent interface menu. Yeah, that's cool. Hopefully, we this saw this before. That's cool. understand what materials they need in order to improve a character's skills. Remember the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? That's also a new This is a little... Eh, but, like, no travelers one asked for this, but... Eh. Rank 12 or higher and well, have we take it? The quest, Welcome to the adventure Actually, eh. we'll be able to refer to I just don't trust what the, the, menu, the common option is, because a lot of times it's... This sometimes it's wrong, but, you know, goals cool. And suggestions ...based on the levels, weapons, artifacts, and talents of your characters. It also takes your maximum world level into account. Hopefully, this guy your job is done. It's recommending started their journey into that prototype yep. Ronk or Kaya designed as a helpful resource for travelers who are relatively new to to that. There's so much to discover in Genshin Impact. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. Where's my face cam? Sure. I'm sorry. I'm exploring all those possibilities. Why did no one say anything? Totally. Did you guys? So far, we've just been covering what, the, <laughs> what the fuck? But we also have some external news to share. During version 4.5, Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Discovery Channel to launch benefit the Discovery events that raise Channel about environmental conservation. Genshin characters will serve as ambassadors for specific natural landscapes, and they'll be embarking on a journey with all the travelers out there. Wow. So that is such a cool collaboration. What the hell? I love it. <laughs> During version 4.5, travelers can also look What's gonna to happen? The Discovery Channel or Chen anime Bale first? OST album, Jadeite Redolence. The album will be comprised of two discs, cool. which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo Mix team. It will contain music from version 4.4. I think the music was pretty good this patch. Music featured well, I always think it's good, so and whatever. Story quest. <laughs> but we take that. Yes, More music is good. Wait. <laughs> all right. Seems like we've delivered all of the information. Yeah, why is she winking at me? Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? <laughs> oh, already? Uh, yeah. Why so fast? But wait, really a did. special did. trailer! Is anyone else super excited for the Cat Cafe? A yes. special! Yes, yes. obviously. Yes, absolutely. Immediately, 100%. I'm also really excited for everyone a to meet her. special trip! I mean, yes. like, they met her, yes. but Absolutely. I want them to, like, meet her. Like, get to know her. Yes. See yes. her cool sword scissor attack. A special! So cool. yes. Right. I mean, I'm a little biased, but, you know. I mean, and I think that's fair. <laughs> it's yeah, she it's over. Fair. Thank you, thank you. I will so probably cool. end up spending a lot of time on the rolling crossfire event, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. If they show I our Lakino 50 gifted. Destroy those slimes destroy the slimes i will kind of just roll with it then huh <laughs> <laughs> i had to i had to <laughs> <laughs> that's so good bye everyone so good. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming and guys no, yeah. Yeah. oh but before you leave a special <laughs> announcement da way comes on screen hey guys look at the oh oh fuck i mean as it is that was short 35 minutes. Is that normal? I feel like that was short. Um, I assume this is because they're waiting for 4.6 to release Chlorind, Arlecchino, and Dottore. It's going to be three. That's why. Um, <laughs> however, this, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Honest take right now. Chiori looks cool. Outside of that, filler event patch. But I'm kind of hype about this. Am I am I pre prematurely hyping this? I hi I was hyped when I heard Genj uh, presets and then I realized they weren't actually presets and it was just poop. But this looks cool. I just still... If you have to use event wishes on this, um, which I assume you do because it says event wish. I mean, no, it's still like... It's basically, because the thing is, okay, this is what it is for me. A lot of people, like, let's say you're like, okay, I'm saving for Eula rerun. Let's say you're the, like, the people that keep complaining that Albedo hasn't gotten a rerun in, like, 13 patches. Where's Albedo? Where's Albedo? If he gets a rerun, he's gonna sell as much as fucking burnt toast, okay? I love Albedo, no disrespect, but the odds of, like, the amount of people that are gonna pull from, probably not worth a full rerun, which is why having, like, a banner that's basically a rerun, right? Because I don't know what four stars are gonna be on it. It's probably just everyone, so it's maybe a bit worse worse maybe a bit better it's effectively going to be the same question mark it might be different pity or something however 
it is a 50 50 where you either get the character or you get it next one right and if you lose you're guaranteed a character so it's it's realistically for someone who wants albedo or eula or Klee, it's the same as if they got a rerun unless i misunderstand it outside of that though the weapon things uh you're if you want like a standard weapon you're kind of coping jade spear is not here which is fucking funny uh that's actually weird why is jade spear not here what the fuck huh what i mean i guess because they want to sell for jade uh, for Shao, but what the fuck Amos where? No, you better fucking be thankful Amos isn't here. Dude, if you try to get Hunter's Path and you get Amos, I'm 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 done. I'm uninstalling. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck Amos. It, it, I mean it's okay, but actually no it's not. But it's okay for God you. Uh yeah, Song of Broken. I mean, so Song, Beacon, Hunter's Path are the three that aren't on standard. Jade was recently on a weapon banner? Yeah, I mean, I assume that's why. Yeah, makes sense. Same with Amos. Anyways, Beacon of the Reed Sea is genuinely really good. Uh, I think it's Deluxe's best in slot a lot of the times. And uh, Hunter's Path is also pretty good. Or very good, rather. So yeah, um, it's not like I don't recommend, assuming this is the same currency as regular wishes, like, sorry, assuming it's the same currency as event wishes, which is the worst case scenario, but I assume it's that, that's why they put event, then I don't recommend, like, let's say you're like, okay, how should I spend my primo gems? I don't recommend pulling on this, but if you're someone who wants Eula or Albedo or Klee or Dea weapon, which is good, or Big T's weapon, which is also good, then yeah. It's, it's as if you always have an Albedo rerun or a clear rerun or a Euler rerun or the those weapons. So that's not bad. Worst case is a whole new currency. True, actually. Unless they give it, like, unless there's a way to get it. Yeah, that would be. I mean, would it even? They all come from Primo Gems. I guess it would be because, like, separate... I don't know. It depends how they do it. If they give like some free ones, like in the shop and shit, then more free stuff would be better. But it would be annoying because then everything's like different, different pity, different that. I assume that pity is going to be different. I don't think it's going to be. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be event currency. I think the reason they put event there is so that they can justify making it event currency. That is my guess. I don't fucking know, but that's my guess. And they also said the banners, like this is for people, for characters that don't get a rerun for, a, haven't gotten a rerun for a while. So maybe they'll like update it. Like maybe this lasts a certain amount of time. And then after it'll be like, like, I don't know, like some other character. Maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I assume it'll like rotate or some shit. Because like Jade Spear's not here, right? Stuff like that. Amos bow. I don't think they're like, wow, Amos is making us so much money. Maybe, but I don't know. Yeah. Regional bait regional? Uh I mean, yeah, these are all Monstat. But also Monstat was the first region, so. But I guess Zhongli and Child are old as fuck too. Ah, I don't know. But it makes sense. Like, you ask me, like, who should be on standard a year ago, and I'd be like, Eula Albedo Klee. Like, that's like the standard. But I didn't expect Beacon and Hunter's Path. Well, I guess those should be on standard as well. Um, but I'm glad they're here. That's cool. Isn't it regional? Beacon of the Reed Sea is not a monster weapon. Neither is Hunter's. So I don't think that's the, 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 like, necessarily the argument. Maybe. Maybe it'll be, like, monster themed. Uh, but I guess Kaching and Chi-Chi aren't here. Maybe you're right, actually. Kaching and Chi-Chi are the, wait, is Chi-Chi here? It says all of these can be chosen. Wait, that means Deluk Banner! Wait, so if Kaching and Chi Chi and who else is a fucking standard five star? Is there any other one? Oh well, Big T and Dea. I guess it might actually be Monsad, yeah. That makes sense. That was actually a Deluke banner. So if you're like 
dude there's this is one person in my mentions that keeps complaining about not having Deluke for like literally three years now now they can fucking force Deluke You can click Mona if you want to worst Kokomi. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Jean, if you want to worst Shen, you... <laughs> sorry, Jean's good too. Uh, and then Eula, Klee, and Albedo are basically per my rerun now. So that's cool. Um, yeah. Capital D colon. Jean's good, but as a standard character. I wouldn't, like, seek her out because if you're gonna seek out a, like, effectively limited character... Shen Yun's worst case scenario is usually being a Jean. Like, that's not a bad thing. Jean's good. But it's like, worst case of Shen Yun is your Jean. Which is why when people, as soon as she came out, I mean, there's also like drama. We're not going to get into it. But everyone was like, oh, Shen Yun's so bad. She, like, Shen Yun's so niche. It's like, her niche is not only good and more vast than you think and make, gives you a fun new playstyle, but at worst, she's Jean. And no one's like, oh, Jean is so bad. But Jean is also standard. Anyways. What is this? Worse any characters that you... Wait, wait, let's see. Worse any character, worse Kokomi, worse Chiori, worse Shang Ling, worse Shang Ling, worse Shan Yun. <laughs> okay, that's true. I, I mean, not true, not true. I don't, I, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. But, uh, I mean, it is true, but I didn't say that. Okay, but they're also all worse Shang Ling. <laughs> It's like weapon banner system. You can choose what you want. It's better because, well, it's 50-50 instead of whatever, 70-30. But it's better be actually, no. It Okay, so it's better because you're guaranteed after one miss. Like, it's 50-50. And you guaranteed to get whatever of the type that you chose. So, like, let's say you miss Eula, you're guaranteed one of these five stars. And if you miss a weapon, you're guaranteed one of the weapon five stars. And I'm very skeptical to like be hype about any gotcha system because gotcha is gotcha, but this looks like this sounds really good. Like it doesn't sound like a scam, which I didn't expect to say. Someone linked a tweet. What is this? Oh, there's a fucking fact. Okay, yeah. The wish guarantee count will continue to accumulate or we'll carry over to the next one. That means that there's multiple. Okay, so we know there's gonna be more than one. E.g. in the current Chronicle of Wish, you can chart a course towards Gene, and the first five-star character you obtain is Klee. As this character is not Gene, you obtain one fate point. You do another 10 wishes, don't receive a five-star item, you're 80 away. Okay, sure. Once the next one begins, your fate points will be... Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's just fate points. Yeah, fate points would be reset, which is unfortunate. But that's how fate works, I assume. Well, that's how it works right now, anyways. Uh, the item list change. Item list may change. Stay tuned. Only event exclusive five stars that have not appeared in the event wish at least three times. That have appeared at least three times and have not appeared recently. Chronicles will be available from time to time. Okay. It's a start. The fate is pretty weird. Uh, oh, well, not weird, but like fate point is very much like if you get it, you feel incentivized to keep going or you lose it. But outside of that, everything's... Like, that's the main uh, downside. But I don't know how long it, they last. Because they don't say it. So if it lasts a long-ass time, and you're like, okay, I really want Eula, then it's fine to pull for it. But if it lasts, like, a month or two months, then it's, like, kind of hard. Uh, harder to be, like... Harder to, like, guarantee that you'll get the character you want. Unless you have enough. But... 
I'm going to be honest, like, I could be very pessimistic about it, but realistically, I know people, like, the, the people that want Eula enough to, like, beg for a Eula rerun are going to have, like, realistically, if you care about that character that much, you're going to save Primos to get them. So, like, this would be good for you. Read question two. Uh, what will the item list change? The item list may change. Stay tuned. Only event exclusive. Well, I already read this. Oh, wait, I skipped question two. Is there a wish guarantee? Before wishing, you must choose your path. It's 50-50, right? All characters or all weapons. There's guarantees for five, seven, four stars. Yeah, 50% chance, and then there's a fade point. Yeah. Use intertwines, yeah. I mean, we knew that, right? It says event. That's unfortunate, though. That's cool. If you want it. At least there's no fucking Chi Chi. Free to play bait? Yes. Well, I don't know about bait. Uh, okay, let me explain it this way. If you're free to play, the only reason you would want any of these characters on the, on your account is if you just love them. But there's no reason to ever get any of these characters willingly on your account. However, if you like them, the fact that they're there as as if they were limited characters is good. I think any other take is I would disagree with it's the, the the fate point is weird like that's cringe however it's effectively if you miss the first one you get it second pull and it's basically like a limited like a limited event bat banner for whatever character for either one of these characters if you want them so it's like if you're like okay I really want a Eula rerun then it's as if the Eula reruns there should you pull on that banner probably not I wouldn't but if you really like these characters, then they're there. Same with a certain weapon. And I would argue weapon-wise... Hmm. I'm not sure. If you want a weapon, I assume the four stars would be worse than a weapon banner. Because weapon banners usually have good weapon well not good sometimes they're dog shit but like let's say the weapon banner has good four stars here are the four stars you get would probably just be random shit like a standard pull um which would be worse but the five star might be better like if you want beacon you guaranteed beacon and two pulls versus like let's say it's beacon and donut or some shit but you might just get like fucking like some dog shit you don't want eh I'm not a big fan of weapons. But I'm not a big fan of weapon matters in general. So. I don't know. It's basically standard premium. Yeah. It would be a lot better if it used standard pulls. But as it stands, it's nice if you want the. Yeah. Legal loophole market event because they're limited. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like ideally, well, here's the thing. Ideally, these characters get added to standard, but also I personally don't think, like I've said this for literally years. I think characters like Eula, Albedo, and Klee do not, like they deserve to, the character, the people that want them deserve to be able to pull them, but I also don't think they're like, no one's like, yes, Albedo rerun. Like, the people at Hoy, I'm sure the fucking company's not like, yes, we're gonna make so much money when we rerun Klee. Like, but the people that are like waiting for them really want the character. So it's nice to have a way to pull them without needing a fucking three week rerun where, where it's just them plus one more character. So no disrespect to the characters, but I think that's a, a, Obviously, like there's ways to make this banner better, but that's a good way to go. A good way to go about it is having a banner where it's like, hey, if you want Eula, you can select Eula. And 
I guess it's um I wish it just instead of being I wish it was a 50-50 that carried over instead of being a fate. The fate point is the only thing I don't like. Because fade points are just like, oh, well, you need to pull now or you don't get it. Like, if, if the banner leaves. But if the banner lasts a long-ass time, it's better that the banner lasts short. We don't know how long the banner is going to last. So we'll see. That's the only thing. Still very happy about it, though. Um, like, at worst, don't pull on it. At best... You have been waiting for Eula or Albedo or Klee or Tsikhnani's weapon or Dale's weapon or Eula's weapon. And now you can get it. That's how I view it. Uh, although the real at worst is you random like like the real at worst is you don't know any better. And then you pull for like a character that's kind of whatever. And then you get a fade point and you get bait into pulling more. Don't do that. Don't don't fall for bait. Outside of that, I think it's 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 pog. Can you lose 50 to another limited? Yes. So when you choose character or weapon, if you lose the 50-50, you get another one of either the, of that. So like it locks into character or weapon, which is good. But like, let's say you lose on Eula, you can get, I think, you can get Albedo. I think that's how it works. Could be wrong. But like, I would much rather lose to like I would lose if I lose my 50-50 and I get Albedo. I'm a, I'm not like, you know, you might be pissed if you want like Klee, but I'm a lot happier than getting a Chi Chi. Uh, as far as the weapons go, these two are, yeah, I mean, one, two, three, kind of four, five, six, I'm going to count these two as one, seven, there's like seven pretty good weapons, but there's like, these are standard weapons. So it's like, it's not like you, you might already have them. Uh, and then Hunter's Path and Beacon are pretty crap, but you know. I wish Jade Spear was here. I'm happy Amos isn't. <laughs> yeah, but it's now it's not two fifty fifties for a weapon. Okay, yeah, so I think the biggest scam that has ever been scammed in scam is weapon matter, especially the old weapon matter. But even now, it's like, at worst, you, like, let's say I charge something, I'm not pulling, but let's say you do. Let's say I get Jade Spear, that's one, Jade Spear again, that's two, and then you get Kaguras. Now it's, like, not now, but, like, for this banner, it's, if you miss a weapon, let's say you want Beacon, you get Skyward Spine, your next five star is guaranteed to be Beacon, which is still not ideal but it's better than this how the only thing that's worse than this is that now like on this one you can lose and you can get the other limited one like you could get like i would argue this banner is like fucking jade is standard so it's a bad example but like let's say it's like kogura's and like jade cutter losing to jade cutter is a lot better than losing to like skyward spine and uh weapon matters sometimes have really good rate up four stars like favonius weapons and shit but outside of that, the the five star like pity is better. Uh, except, yeah, no, that's it. But yeah, I mean, even on this weapon matter, you can lose to a standard one. Like you can get Skyward Spine on this one. I'm pretty sure I literally just did. I just got a Skyward Spine. I'm pretty sure. Never mind. Crane's echoing call. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. But I did get a Skyward Spine somewhere. Was it from a permanent wish? Where did I get a Skyward Spine? I remember Shanine was like, Skyward, and then I got a Skyward. Maybe it was Weapon Matter. I don't know. I don't know. The pity carries over to the next, but the guarantee does not. Yes, I think. I think that's what they said. So it's like, yeah. The only time it would really suck is if... You get, like, you lose 50-50, and then you don't have enough to get the character you want, and then it expires. But I don't know how long it's going to last. And second, 
please don't just randomly like I don't recommend like if the banner isn't lasting a long time then it's I don't recommend pulling unless you have enough to like keep going if you lose a 50-50 but I assume it's gonna last a while but I don't know and also because this banner is so like niche like no like meta player is gonna be like I need Klee no disrespect to Klee I feel like if you're someone who really has been wanting for one of these reruns for a while you're probably saving primos or not or you're just rolling the dice that happens too so I think it's a net positive I thought they would give us extra rewards you must be new here man you, hey, it's been three years. You must be new. <laughs> Here, man, take a foul. <laughs> take a foul and, and sit down. What type of hilly troll are you? Uh, <laughs> what's happened to Hoyo Lab? <laughs> uh, is there anything else that we should talk about? Dude, this is, I'm sorry, but like, second half is easy skip, only getting the new. I never want to see that guy post again. Dude. This is literally, I, dude, this, I, dude, pull for who you like, but this is like, these are like the most insane characters. Anyways, please don't Ito slander. The only reason I slander Ito, like no disrespect to Ito, but the only reason is because this guy exists. And every time Ito comes back, this motherfucker rotates into the abyss. And I would like him to rotate off a cliff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is the X logo orange? What the fuck? Is it Halloween? Yes, <laughs> I can't. My I can't is still a pumpkin. Oh Jesus! Okay, I think we should celebrate uh, that live stream by uh, strong boxing Vermillion. I think that is the best uh, for all of us to do. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's our first one. Wait. I don't even want to roll this today. No, I can't right now. I actually can't right now. No, dude, 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 dude. Wait, this is actually our first one. Am I joking? I actually don't think I'm joking. I'm pretty sure this is our first one in like a hundred thousand resin. Wait, this is actually our first one. Wait. This is like actually our first one. Why does it have flat? I can't complain. I can't complain. Shut the fuck up. Don't complain. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Sorry. Dude. Okay, guys. I get. Oh, oh, funny. I hope you rolled the fence. But do you have no shame? Like, I understand it. Funny, this guy, like, let's say I'm always lucky. I get a bunch of good artifacts. You're like, oh, I, I fuck you, man. I have been suffering in this domain since the day it came out. If anyone, like, look, I'm grateful for the little things. I'm grateful for a lot of things. But if anyone deserves an Anemo Vermilion Goblet, like, 
I'm not saying it would be me, but I'm saying like, I've put in the work, put in the hours. We stay hungry, we devour. I'm screenshotting this before, before, just in case. I'm also timestamping this moment in the VOD. Roll it? Okay, I'm gonna say something very serious right now. I'm not even joking right now. No one's gonna remember this because I had like 30 viewers back then, but I rolled this artifact. I'm being 100% serious. I rolled this artifact at like AR 40 on a call with Zaj. I got it. And I didn't roll it for like over a month. And I literally went, I, I kept it like plus four. Then I plus aided it on stream. Then I like a week later, I plus 12 did. Then like a few days later, I plus 16 did. And then like a month later, I plus, like I remember I kept this for so long because I didn't want to be disappointed. I actually did not want to feel suffering of missing a roll. I just, I wasn't ready to lose something. And it took me like over a month to fully 20 it. Don't get excited. The artifact will know and taunt you. True. I need to meditate. I need to. We're on iron point. I'm gonna make the game think I don't care. I'm gonna make the game think I don't care. I don't need Vermillion. Fuck it, I'm, I'm Geo. I'm, I'm Geo Shao. Yo, 2k defense? Raid my build. Is there a pole arm that gives defense? Wait, I should go under. Oh, I should. Give me a second. Let me cook. Let me cook, chat. One sec. Um, let me yeet the tweet out. Before it's too late. <sighs> ah, ah, sorry. Those memories so dark. Okay. Okay, that should be enough. Fuck. Good enough, good enough, good enough. It's fine. 2800 defense. Ah, maybe we can get 3k. Do you guys think we can get 3k defense? I'm on a Geo Goblet, so we could do offset easily. Uh, let's see. Defense. Yeah, yeah. There you go. 3336. Alright. <sighs> Okay, let us go test our fortune for the day. Yeah, Miko, where are you? Or the shrine, where are you? Dude, why did I forget where Hinazuma was? <laughs> Bro is still stalling? Yes, I don't care. I, I, okay, I need you to like fundamentally understand something. I have in I have farmed Vermillion for literally two years and I haven't gotten one double crit in Emo Goblet. Like this is literally once in three years. I am not joking. I, I don't want to just lose this piece in two seconds. We are going to check our fortune. Okay, we're going to check our fortune. You pick the slip cylinder up. <laughs> yeah, dude, if this rolls bad, the next one's in 2027, okay? This is either... You guys are either going to see this now or in 2027. Oh, I have to open it. 
Or do I have to talk to her first? I have to talk to her first. Check Fontaine in the fortress? We can. What the fuck is it? Oh, my parametric's up. Dude, where the fuck is it? Am I stupid? Is it not here? I swear it's here. Oh. Rising fortune! The blade that has tempered for 10 years will shine bright today. Your misfortune is gone! And you are rising from the pit of despair. You've trained hard for years without showing your skill. But today is the perfect opportunity to showcase your capabilities. If you encounter obstacles, do not fret. Draw your sword without fear and fight with all your might. Your lucky object for the day, mature sea Ganoderma. You know what? Don't mind if I go get a sea Ganoderma. Where the fuck are they? Are there some here? I think there's some here. We will not be uh, 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 obtaining the mint. Where is the sea Ganoderma? It's it's next to water, right? Wait, I'm streaming at an EU-friendly time, right? Yo, anyone? Is this what Great Britain looks like? Can someone confirm? Anyone in London right now? Essex. Oh, bruv. I'm in fucking... I'm in fucking Essex, bruv. Oh, see, can I remember? No. Okay, sorry. Wait, that's not a Seagana Derma? Wait, <laughs> wait, where the f wait? Shit, where the fuck are the Ganodermas? By the water, I am by the water. Am I not by the water? Wait, there's a fucking waypoint? Wait, what? Bro, why can't I use the waypoint? Okay. Sarah Island near the statue. Who the fuck is Sarah? Oh. Are you here? Oh, there's no rain! Ah, uh, I appreciate it. We are currently rolling. For the record, chat. For reference, this is my best in Emo Goblet right now. For reference, this is our best one. And right now, we are rolling this. I don't even have it locked. This artifact. And um, it is a big day for me. It is. Because if I roll it today, I will either go to bed very happy. Or something will be broken. We got the Siganoderma. I will let this crab live because I'm in a good mood. What's up, Ruby? Thanks for the raid. Uh, I appreciate it, Ariel. Uh, I need I need one sec. Chat, what can I play that's loud but not copyrighted? Shao theme? going where it all started. Shoot, what if I go deep in the chasm? 
I'm gonna this is gonna be the Xiox wish the rolling spot. This is gonna be the, the spot that I'm gonna coin as being the lucky, the lucky tile. I have 140 HP. Shall decide my fate wherever I plunge, I'll roll. Shao has decided. No! Wait, we have to go back. Shao has decided. His friend died there? Okay, and we're using his dead friend's artifact set. So if anything, it is poetic. Let me waste my bad luck really fast. Let me waste my bad luck really fast. Get it all out, get it all out. Waste all the bad luck, waste all the bad luck. Yeah, get it all out! Okay. Where's the goblet? Where the fuck is the goblet? Chad, I promise no... St okay, I'm stalling a little, but dude, I'm actually afraid. Dude, can you imagine? As it stands, for those of you who don't know, our Shao is currently rank 24. Could you imagine if this... If this is 50 CV? Okay, I'm gonna say it right now. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. If this only rolls crit, 100 gifted. To the stream right now. 100 gifted. Do it, just do it! Okay, I'm just, okay, okay, all right, okay, all right, well, it's over. remember I have to show them I have to make them think I'm a paying customer so I need to do a pull I need to do a like a oh, oh look 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 I'm spending money look oh oh I'm spending money look 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 oh hi yeah, yeah. look I'm spending money I'm spending money we actually need that constellation oh look 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 I, I, I'm a paying customer please please where the fuck is it Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well. Dude, shut up! Sorry, sorry. The music was. I'm never using this. I know it's not bad, but. I mean, I mean, that's good. Uh, I don't think that's better than our set, though. Yeah, I don't think that's good enough. I mean,
Can't wait. Wait, let me see. Wait, I can fast equip, right? Because I unequipped everything? Wait, that actually worked. Okay, that's copium, but... Why is our crit damage? Okay. Wait, 91.92342467. Let me write that down. Life. 2467. 91 point something. 9234. 234. Okay. <clears throat> it's like barely better. I mean, okay, I, I guess we need crit rate. Wait, let me see. What's our best crit rate piece? Honestly, if we need crit rate, this is better. Maybe we go crit damage build then. Wait, one sec. Ow! Wait, no, we actually need crit rate on our shot. Well, I guess Shen Yun gives us 10%, so we technically don't, but we still should. Wait, okay. Is it ever an offset circlet angle? This is our best circlet. Crit rate 21, 15, 11. Blizzard Sands? This is not even that much worse. Our Sands is literally only one crit rate roll better. So this is actually good. Our Feather's also insane. I have a perfect Feather though, like this. Every subset is good. No, this is lower. Oh, I'm on Jade. Wait, that's... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. The fuck was I using? Our attack is exactly the same. We lost 3 crit rate for 10... Cr 15 crit damage. Which is actually higher crit value. But it's gonna be worse because uh Shen Yun. Minus hundred attack? I wrote two three six seven down. How did we lose hundred attack? Our flower dude wait, did we? Yeah, I typoed. It was two four six seven? Oh maybe I'm just Wait, why the fuck did I write 2-3? Okay, then it is worse. Damn, that gauntlet sucks. <laughs> Wait, maybe not. Maybe we do... What flower are we on? Maybe we keep the flower. Our flower's not even that bad. Why is it worth with Shen Yun? No, it's worth without Shen Yun. Okay, this is 5 vermilion. Which, honestly, this is pretty good. Uh, like, this is actually good. I 
I think I want the ER roll if I'm being a fucking Akasha cringer. If I'm not, then I don't want the ER or and I don't want the the crit rate. Like I don't need more than this cuz realistically, this is wasted if I go higher. Which means I would do Yeah, like if I don't care about anything, then I do this. Maybe th this one's probably more efficient, but let's say this. And I need literally zero ER, so we would need. Oh, wait, wait I'm on Homa? Yeah, I'm on Homa. I would go for a crit damage flower, maybe. I guess here, offset flower would actually help because I could go crit damage. So I could do... Oh, wait, this is fucking good. Oh no, but it's... Oh, but the substats are so efficient. But I don't care about the ER. No, I don't care about the ER. Wait, so I do... Life... I mean, this is... Our attack is low. Why is our attack so low? Oh, I was on Homa before. Wait, does Homa even give more attack? How much attack do I have with Homa? Oh, yeah. I guess out of combat. I'll fucking optimize it later. Oh yeah, our passive is on because we're fucking we're fucking <laughs> we're, yeah, we're like one HP. Life. Well, also, this gives attack. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Uh... Wait, what's our worst piece? Yeah, it's our flower or circlet. But I also... Circles are a lot harder though, because it's one sub. It's probably flower. Use the 50 crit value sands? Okay, but. I don't even think the 50 crit value sands is like that good compared to this one. Because this is like 45 crit value, 44. It's 44, but I have ER. This one's 50. What if I just do two piece? Straight to the point! Fuck ER! Why the fuck would I need ER? Crit value Andy? Dude, I mean, okay, I actually don't need ER though. Like, no copium. Shenyun gives 4% against single target, making it 100%. See, I like the way you think. Okay, we'll see. We go, we're going to go from rank 24 to rank like 6. Uh, fuck it, like 600. Far away. Ah. 
Yeah, we're 128 now. <laughs> so much worse. <laughs> well, because, okay, the thing is, let's say we do five piece, right? Let's say we do five piece. The problem isn't that I don't have a good Vermillion. The problem is that our worst piece is our Goblet. Like, it's still the Goblet after that. I don't think it's even close. Uh, let me see. Yeah, look. This Goblet is... Dude, look at our shit this is. So at this point, our, our upgrade isn't even a Vermilion Goblet, it's an Offset Goblet. No, this is still the best one. Honestly, fuck it. Never mind. You can get better flower. Why are you enabling me to go back? This is a dark, this is a, a, a low point in my life. And you're laughing. Sparkle theme music extended. Tien, be my goat. I right, playing this. Where's the straw box? Wait, where the fuck is it? Dude, why did I roll it today? I could have kept it for like a year. Can you imagine the content? Ah, I did echo! I'm ending stream. I'm ending stream. Oh my god, I did echoes. What the fuck is wrong with me? Could you imagine I got something good? Okay, I gotta stop now, I gotta stop now. I have to wait, we're doing a Strongbox video. We're doing a Strongbox video, I'm stopping here, I'm stopping it here, I'm stopping it here, we're done, we're done. Okay, that's too many, that's too many. I feel bad, I feel bad. I promise we're done, I promise. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. At least it wasn't like... At least it, it like it wasn't that good because it had HP defense. Like it could have had like attack or ER. So I'm not that sad. But I am sad. And now it looks like I need ER because I started with fucking none. Why did I throw my shower off a cliff? Ibrahim, thanks for the two months. So 
so much for your rising fortune chat what if the like low point in the rising fortune was now and if i keep going that was my sign that i'm gonna get an emo goblet what if like this was like the bait like 99 percent of gamblers quit before they win big you get me There's no weapon ranking for Nevelite by Nevelite Guide for the person asking about exact rankings. I'm using C6. I'm, I'm upset. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's actually fine. I shall. It's fine. It doesn't actually matter. We don't need a goblet. We need a flower. Goblet's not gonna happen. Goblet's not gonna happen. The odds are like one in like seven million. So mute alerts? Oh, I'm sorry. I unmuted them. Someone donated a dollar to say the bait club. Not to leak anything. But I'm just going to say that we missed every roll because this motherfucker DM'd me L plus don't care plus curse of the Nile flat defense rage. What the fuck is... What the fuck is curse of the Nile, man? Hope you get the help you need. I don't need help! I clear him two plunges! Emmons donated one dollar. Hello, Zyox. Hello. I've been trying to reach out to you for the past like four months for interrupts <laughs> and keep getting going warm. That it happens. I'm sorry. Uh, I, if we still need, I don't know where the fuck we're at with those, but you can send. You could DM me, but if you do send like something like. So usually when I open editor apps, if I didn't respond, it's because we chose someone already. So I, I usually put like a general answer because I can't respond to everyone, which, you know, is what it is. Uh, but if you do want to, like, you have to like send something that's already edited so I can see without having to like spend five years of my life like back and forth thing. Because I'm very bad at um, doing that. Okay, Chad, do I have the fucking... Do I have your permission to refresh today? Like, uh, dude, uh, at this point, I just... I earned it. I earned it. I earned it. I don't even have fucking crystal flies, dude. Okay, let's go pick some... Pick some crystal flies. I'm sad. A bugger. Do you know what would have been funnier though? Like, I'm not like, look. One sec. 
imagine i'm just gonna say something if that goblet was like what would have been worse is if that goblet like where is it yeah if this happened to that goblet like or like it needs attack percent too like if it had like perfect stats and it only rolled er it would have it wouldn't have been worse it would have been better but it would have felt worse so i'm at least grateful that this didn't happen to it i'm at least grateful although this is actually a good piece like this is good for Etho, but Shaw wouldn't really want that do i have a goblet like that Hello new viewers, we apologize on his behalf, we've been battling the vermilion addiction. Dude, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's not a vermilion addiction. I'm just a man in a cold world. That's all it is. Am I addicted quiz? Okay, this is like never mind. I got Canada.ca help with substance. Okay, this never mind. This is more serious than Click it. I'm not clicking it. I knew you'd miss me. You are on a list of what? It's a lifestyle. True! Wait, okay, let me actually... I promise you, I'm gonna run the optimizer for like seven hours off stream and we'll see what it comes back with. And then I'll, I'll we'll, we'll reconvene. But for now, let me, let me put a build on. Let me try something. Dude, this goblet looks so mid. It actually makes me want to puke. Wait, where are you? I don't want. The Ayato one is like free 15% attack, right? No, we lose a crit roll. It's still better. But. It's not better enough, you get me? Press 1919 if you get me. Oh, wait, this is better.
Dude, can I fucking plunge for more than 40,000? Thank you. Don't talk to me right now. Don't talk to me right now. I also need to like end at some point so that the VOD can be used for fucking uploading the video. But at this point, I don't even want to end. Do I need to wait for my Farzan to do something? Why am I plunging for literally one? Okay, there you go. Okay, 170. Don't worry, man. You're the number one Shao to me. Dude, I am the number one Shao. What are you... What are you waffling about? Number 24. Dude, that's literally like random shit that doesn't matter though. Overall, I'm number one. Dude, I uh, was all good. Wait, let me refresh. Unlucky, 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 unlucky. Chat, what if I threw every artifact I have in the strong box right now and then we tell Slice I my like there was like a I like I got like it was a good glitch. Why are you checking four stars? Uh would you really be saying that? Would you really type that sentence out if you saw this piece? Ooh, didn't think so. Didn't think so, yeah. I don't know, I'm coping. I mean, I mean, if this wasn't Echoes, maybe, but it's fucking Echoes. If this only rolls crit, so help me God. I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna entertain the idea. Chiori split scaling. Wait, true, actually. This guy is cooking. Do I wanna keep this piece? Okay, got attack again. Dude, why are you guys laughing? This is not funny. Wawa. What? Oh! Wait, let him cook? Hey, maybe with this piece we'll go from rank one Ayato to rank one Ayato again. That would be really nice. I can't wait to get another perfect Ayato piece. Where was this luck earlier? Where was this luck to... Dude, what? Oh, because of the rising fortune. Oh. Dude, my inner ear is itchy. All right, this is good. More echo pieces. That's like really good. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Is it even better than this, actually? 
It's not. It's objectively worse. It's objectively worse. It has less crit rate and it has if, like the same crit damage. And then it has. Wait, why do I have no crit rate? What the fuck? When was the last time you even used Ayato? <laughs> Don't talk to me, please. Please don't talk to me. I, I use Aito all the time. I use Aito every day. <laughs> don't have a good Echo Slower. Eh. Dude, what am I doing? There's no ER though. Oh, I think I do offset goblet on Ito. That's what I usually do. Anyways. Dude, like, like, imagine if this was, imagine if this was, Im Wait, I mean, okay, to be fair, the goblet we got isn't even bad. Like, this is a good goblet, it's 10, 13, right? That's a total of, like, let's say 22 plus 13, uh, 35, right? Crit value? This is... Uh, that's like 13, 13 plus 18, I'm tired, it's like 31, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, our Shao? Okay. Our Shao went from rank 24 to 82. But it's a lower e uh, ER uh, thing. It's lower ER. So it's like... <laughs> Man. <laughs> Ayato this Ayato that when are you level 90 in your child? Oh yeah man that's happening. Yeah yeah. Yeah I'm gonna level 90 child. You got your Xiao from the Willy Wonka experience in Glasgow. What does that even mean? Why are you guys laughing at that? Wait, this is actually a W build. Huh. Have fun with the skip. Time to shine. Forward. 
Low attack. We are playing fucking Shen Yun. It's also 2600 mid combat, but Shen Yun literally doesn't. She cares about crit. Wait, chat, let me check something. Living beings. Oh, almost 3K! Yo, we're almost there. That's pretty good. Yo, we can't stop now. 3K? It's pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah, 3K is hard pity. 3K, that's hard pity. 3K, that's hard pity. <laughs> True. Chat, what's 3,000 times 40? 120? This 97 year old Genshin streaming channel is still serving its Xiao the old fashioned way. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Wait, right, let me refresh my Xiao. Wait, my Aito is four. Dude, my Aito is so much fucking better than my Xiao. It actually pisses me off. But, um,. This is definitely not our best build. I just don't feel like optimizing it, but it could definitely be better because uh, this flower sucks dick compared to, like the crit value is really fucking high, but like ER is like low key more valuable here. Actually, I think our goblets are worst piece on Ayato. Nobody plays Ayato? I play Ayato! Me! Me! Like, the, f the it would probably say this is better. Fucking stupid ass optimizer, I'm sorry. Sorry. I actually hate crit value. Crit value disgusts me. I love attack percent. Oops. Dude, what even is my best Hydro Velvet? Probably, we probably need crit rate, so probably that one. But this is the same crit rate, and it's on set. All we lose is one fucking roll, so that can't be the best one. I'm tilted. Maybe it is offset flower. Let the game decide. Rising Fortune, by the way.
Do we get bored of playing Genshin all day? Yes, that's why I don't play Genshin off stream. Other than like for videos and stuff. Well, sometimes I do. But like I try to stream when I'm like Genshin in the Genshin mood. Like sometimes I'll be playing Genshin off stream and I'll be like having fun and I'll be like, damn, I should stream. So like I feel bad playing Genshin. <laughs> okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. Dude, no more. Do I still have enough artifacts to Strongbox? Yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Okay, if I unlock three pieces, it's like I just made three artifacts. Does everyone agree with me? Yes or no? Press one if you agree. I basically just made... I'm not throwing that. 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 I'm throwing this one. It's like I just made an artifact. I effectively created one out of nothing. Boom. Okay, we're done. How this goblet ruined this Genshin streamer's life. <laughs> Laugh now. But remember this moment. Remember this moment when I get a better goblet. <laughs> Man, fuck you! What is this? Nah, that sucks. Um, do I have a good? Oh wait, no, dude. My best like offset piece is like. A fucking feather, but my feather's already so good. <laughs> Dude, at a certain point, I just gotta accept it, you know? I gotta stop coping and accept it. Wait, actually, Scara's Goblet might be better. Oh, there's no ER on it. This one might actually be better. Oh, wait, this one actually might like math out to being better. But I don't think I'm going to use this build. Well, we're back to five million. I have 98 crit rate, Jesus. Oh wait, I actually wonder, wait, what the fuck happens with this? Yo, <laughs> wait, let me check, wait. Sorry, one sec, let me check. Go to bed, no! I will, but wait. I right, fucked my Ayato. Use auto equip, dude. Auto equip doesn't do anything. Wait, why did Nightbot just do this for me? That's yeah, just on my screen, right? Can I refresh? Hello, mod check. Mod check. Rogue bot. This rogue. It went rogue. No friendship 10. A lot of nines though. If you ever. If you ever. Wait. Dude. What the fuck? Look. Number 47? Yeah, 65. 39, 39 on five vermilion, five. 
That's actually not bad, but the pro the catch is this is the goblet we rolled like a year ago. This isn't even the new one. <laughs> Dude, does anyone here? This guy's on fucking two piece, two piece. Uh, fuck you. Does anyone here even have five vermilion? Is there a single? What the fuck is this? Wait, are we the best five vermilion? Those memories. Chat. We might be the hi the highest. Okay, dude, good enough for me. No one else is five vermilion. Chat. Number one, five vermilion in the world. Can we all agree? Can we all agree? Can we all agree? Number one, five vermilion in the world. It's almost one to one. <laughs> five fees should double the set effect. True. I actually don't think You're just standing around. How absurd. Reduced to reduce reduced to just standing around. Sorry. This piece is objectively better. But it still has a missed roll. I'm trying to see if I have a piece like this, but without a missed roll. Oh, that's still a mistral. They all have a fucking mistral. The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. The damned would sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Wait, this is worse. How many rolls is this? That's uh 20 plus oh yeah, it's like 46. No, 36. Wait, it's not that good. I mean it's good, don't get me wrong, but Why are you not in Vermilion? Are you lost? Are I, you I am man? lost! Thanks for checking in! Those memories. I can use this for now, but if this was attack percent, actually rank one in the world. I'm not even joking. Wait, is this better? No, I need the crit rate. The crit rate's too valuable. Wait, let me see how much this does. Oops, I just launched Star Rail. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoopsies. Did he get a good piece or something? Uh we got a we got a piece. It wasn't bad.
We got a piece. Is he lost, man? Is he lost, man? Okay, but unironically, like I'm not even coping right now. We could we could do dude dude we could just go back to two piece two piece trial and then we'll be like happy. Dude, imagine the, the like how happy we would be. Imagine how happy I would be as a player. Okay, anyways, I'll, uh, we'll do, we'll look more into it next stream. I should probably end, uh, before I go insane. Sorry for being tired. I didn't sleep last night. Uh, and we'll do the Abyss and stuff next stream. I'll try to stream very soon. Um, oh, no, never mind. This is still worse than our last build, but. Our shot was 30 with this goblet. Just wanted to share that the first time I ever donut, I thanked Wait, why is it not making me laugh when he told me to shut up? Well, our last one's 24, but still that didn't happen. Still Whatever. Third Ayato, we used to be one. I think if I, my Ayato can always be one if I like optimize a bit better. I just, I kind of slap whatever looks good. Wait, number one is, the fuck? This guy's 69 crit rate. What the fuck is wrong with this person? The damned will sooner die Bro, you are literally Eula. What are you doing? Okay, I mean, this artifact's fucking insane. That one's pretty good. That one's insane. Okay, I mean, it makes sense. But he's literally 69 crit rate, dude. What the fuck? Too based. Am I trying too hard to get crit rate? Maybe I'm trying too hard. Maybe that's the problem. Dude, imagine, like, if I have this, but with two attack, like, attack, attack, and then an attack roll, it would be so much better. But I don't have it. It's fine. Maybe I just, uh, maybe I'm coping too much. Like, maybe I'm supposed to go Jade. Anyways. Anyways, we'll leave this for another time. We'll leave this for another time. To 25% attack. Is that ever an angle? <laughs> Anyways. All right, I'm gonna go bench. Uh, thanks for watching chat. The live stream was pretty fun. A little filler, but it is what it is. Uh, I will uh, see you uh, all. For... Sorry, I'll put it on stream. I'll see you all later. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Before we leave, we're going to raise the Jeff. Uh, but please send him this. That is our raid message because, uh, we got cursed. But it was fun. It was fun. It's a fun stream. Be nice, Zaj. Sorry for um, 
I don't even know. Fuck all of you. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Agony.